I think this run might look a little grimacing now. Someone, someone sent me Red Bull and I'm back. Um, <laughs> or for like express, express mail, like what the fuck? I don't know, you figure it out, but I can't know anything right now. <laughs> they just sent you a Red Bull and like how, how does it even work? Like, I've got figured out, I want to... <laughs> what is going on? I want to cry! This is like religion, only better! Wait, Ben, you think this is bad? Oh, you you missed know. a lot. <laughs> you don't know the half of this. I mean, I, I had to shut up on the window while I was eating, and the amount of, like, question marks that were <laughs> I could only assume that Jacob was talking again. Yeah, it's, been a, it's been a mess, but it's been a good mess. It's alright. Yeah. I'm gonna run with it. This is acid. Again, I like this race. In SF. Huh? What are you saying, Nate? We're SF again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're doing SF races. What do you want? <laughs> I can't see the city anymore. <laughs> what do you think is uh, the place that you spend the most time in in Hondo? Yeah, it has to be SF overall. Because of the whole like delivery shit. Exports. Taxi. Yeah, all the stuff is just happening in SF. It takes so long. And. Yeah. You spend a lot of time in LS as well, though, if you count LS and RTLS, it's going to be close. Sure. But I think SF alone is like five hours of the run. Pretty hard to beat. in the air. These races really not that much fun when you don't have any goblins that like push you off and stuff. Yeah. Like in MPA. <laughs> this is exactly. Nah, these races kind of suck actually. They're really boring for the most part. Like the issue with these races is like they're just way too easy. Like they basically yeah. become like glorified time trials because there's no competition. Whereas like you know when you, when you have like an actual racing game, like when you play like Need for Speed and stuff like that, you have like difficulty values, right? So yeah. Set it to a certain difficulty value and Mario Kart. You know. Yeah, stuff like that, and, and like they're the most interesting when it's close. You know, exactly. like you're not getting. That's what you want. But you're not battering them. It's like somewhere in between. Like you actually have to fight to win. Do I actually have not Yeah, I have way too much fog here. Surely, awesome. To be honest, like the amount of people that I've seen fail, like Badlands A and Badlands B, on like here. casual playthroughs, is crazy. Program. I, I have seen casual playthroughs where people have spent like an entire stream trying to do those races and failing. Yeah. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Yeah. 
and the secrets of the universe will be open to you. Yeah, these races have like no rubber banding to my knowledge. Yeah, they don't. Like, either way, so if you like don't move, they will just wipe the floor with you. But the same applies, like if they're behind. They, they just suck as well, they're so bad. They get stuck in shit all the time. Like, yeah. <laughs> look at these people. <laughs> like, as you said, just drives right into the ball. And that's where he will stay for the next four minutes. Yeah. Are GTA 5 races better? Right. The weird thing with GTA 5 races is like you can't really use speedruns as an example because, like, obviously with brake boosting, you just wipe the floor with everyone anyway. I remember doing a race in GTA 5 with Franklin, and you can just use the ability to just own yeah, everyone. It's so busted. Yeah. The superpowers Whereas, and shit. Like, drive normally, they might be a bit more like balanced. I swear, driving in 5 might actually be more fun if Franklin didn't have fucking superpowers. Yeah, like that's the thi thing, is like, even if you don't use, like abuse like brake boosting or curb boost or anything, just using Franklin's power, which you're intended to do, gives you a huge burst of speed. Like if you keep using yeah. it, um, it gives you like a ton of speed. So you basically can't lose, like unless you like die or something. So I would say they're not better. But if you were to like compare SA driving, Versus what I'm gonna call like SA driving in GTA 5, and what I mean by that is like no powers, you know, just literally holding W and driving like you would in San Andreas. Yeah. Then they might be better. Like probably, yeah. I, I never tried it. The thing is, like all the GTA races always have something wrong with them, but it's always something different. <laughs> they, they just never get it right. It's like VC. They drive like complete psychopaths, so they just like crash into you all the time. They're not a threat, they just, they're just annoying. In SA, they got rid of that, but then they're just not a threat, so it's boring. Yeah. yeah SA is just GTA pretty boring. Like, yeah, GTA 4 is like pretty much the same as SA. Like, you just absolutely destroy them. If you, you know, you know how to turn corners mm. at high speeds. And then GTA 5 is like just ruined by the powers, so I don't know. Maybe GTA 6 then. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Finally, they come up with a solution. I feel like it's just such a missed opportunity. Like, the whole point of GTA is driving and the races suck. Yeah. I also think an SA, like, obviously, it's again hard to compare because you're not intended to do them all at once, like in a speedrun. Mm. I feel like there's just too many races. There's like loads of races, and the, so the routes just aren't that fun for them as well. Like, yeah. This one is just like four minutes long or like five minutes long or whatever. And it's just not that interesting. There's like, there's like easily 20 minutes worth of races in all of the different districts, plus the ones that you have to do like for the story, plus fucking. There's more like, than 20. That's that like, there's like. like there's like 50 or 60 minutes worth of races in this game, man. It's not just yeah. 40. It, it's not just 20 minutes. I, I mean, like 20, like 20 in LS. 20 oh in yeah, Euro, exactly. Like, that's what I mean. Yeah. Almost an hour of this hundred run is just racing. <laughs> yeah. It's so silly, and then actually. You've got like the like the heli and like the planes. Yeah, like, that's not even including those. All the schools, yeah. which are like basically races against time, because that's all this is. It's not racing competition. Yeah. At that point, you can like, you know, like there is no second, third place or whatever. You just finish the air races, no? Yeah, the, the air races is just like beat your best. Yeah, that's even, there's no competitors in those. You just have to finish them. But yeah, th there's just too much. Like, yeah, there's way too much. It's actually insane when you think that like 15% of the hunter run is just doing the races. Yeah, it's pretty outrageous. But again, like in a casual playthrough, it doesn't feel like it's that much because you know you have so much to do and you sort of spread it out. Yeah. But it's still a lot. Compared to like, you know, a lot of other things. Finally done.
quick at this. Did I know? Nice. <laughs> that usually is a little bit more difficult. When I get with you. When's uh, taking the ZR that you get from Badlands B? Driving it all the way to the LS garage, storing <laughs> it, then taking the train later and picking yeah, it up that's and that's it. smart. I like it. Yeah, I mean it's consistent. Like, <laughs> now nah, there's a consistent backup as it are as well. You can make a replay in one of the SF races, and you're good to go. Damn. I'm on PS2. Sorry. Ah, oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's off the truck in seven and then back to LV. What do you get for completing all the lists in this game? Uh, paid. Did you money? That's it. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. can like order the cars, right? Yeah, but you get that like along the way. As you deliver more cars, you get more imports as well. You can import more vehicles. Oh, I've got so no you suits can, like, ever importing like vehicles. Where you can like spawn the cars? Yeah, it's at the docks. Oh, okay, cool. You can go up to like the thing, the... the the blackboard or whatever and order like cars for delivery. That's cool. Yeah. You know what I learned speaking of trains the other day when I was watching Zero's run? Mm -hmm. GTA 2 has trains. It does? You can go between the areas with, yeah. I did what? not know that. That's pretty cool. It's like a fully functional train system. Yeah. I was blown away when I found out GTA 3 has trains. GTA 3 has GTA trains? Is even more incredible. Yeah, GTA 3 has trains, dude. Oh, wait, it has the, it has the tracks, yeah. doesn't it? GTA yeah. 3? I know about those, yeah. Yeah. But, like, you, you can take, like, a legit train Man, from like me. station to station. No way. Yeah. That's yeah, the real thing. Great. Pig! Didn't actually know what call that was, I just take to make sure. <laughs> yes, Catalina, I am a pig. Please keep calling me bad names. Wait, it actually has like a, an animation and stuff for it. Yeah. What the it, it's like fully fleshed out. Yeah. Me. The Trunk 7 has like god knows how many locations, but three of them are good, so it's not that difficult. And you get no one at levels, it's nice. With sensitivity, a man GTA, like so you me. Can drive the train. Not only can you, but for 100%, you have to. There is an entire odd job mission surrounding train driving. You see, you need someone who's there like a gentleman. If anybody can get the description, baby. In GTA 2, you get shocked by the rails. <laughs> well, if you like stand on them, you get electrocuted. That's brilliant. God, this song was so crazy. I'll be honest, apart from like Chinatown Wars, I've never played a. Uh, is it called like a Hawkeye or you know the top down? Like view. bird's eye view. Yeah. Yeah. I have never played any of it. I played through the entirety of GTA 1 and the London DLCs on stream, and that is by far, I shit you not, the hardest game I've ever played. <laughs> Which game? It's not even close. GTA 1. Oh. I've seen so gameplay of GTA 1. It looks fucking AIDS as shit. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It actually looks insane. Fuck off. No, 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 no. Don't do it to me. With ice. A diamond last <laughs> sliding down the hill. Why not? A diamond. There you go, I stopped it. Rock yeah. hard and frozen in yeah, GTA 1, the Locally, biggest thing is like so imagine obviously like GTA games, like oh, you can fail missions for like a so million different reasons, right? Because the missions are like sometimes quite difficult, especially when you're doing them for the first time. GTA 1, you can't repeat missions. You only get one try, and if you fail it, yeah, I've seen that shit. It's fucking you. insane. That's crazy. Like, what the fuck? I need to run a bit here. It's a like death in of LV. Yeah, it's it's just <laughs> like real life. Yeah. It's like you can legit run out of missions to do, and then you're just like kind of screwed. We need more of that more of that kind of games, honestly. Yeah. 
less hand holding and stuff. How the fuck do you beat the game then? So for GTA 1, the way you beat the game is like each level, which is like basically like a map, I guess, for the other missions. Um, you get like a score. You have to get basically. points, right? Yeah, you have to get points yeah. to win. The way you get points is like you get points by like completing missions and stuff, but you also just get it by like causing blowing people. up cars and like yeah, blowing killing up cars, people, killing people, dealing with the police, etc. Yeah. So yeah, if you like fail all the missions, you're basically intended to just go on a rampage until you get enough points. Like, which is also stupidly hard because if the police even touch you, like they make yeah. contact with you, they you're instantly fucked. bust you. Ah, yeah. uh, GTA One is crazy. It's. It took me like. 30 hours or something for like that and the DLCs to beat them fully and that was with like save states so I could actually do the missions because you know resetting the whole yeah. area every time you fail a mission is just I'd be there for months yeah you can like if you want to be like a little bitch about it you can like beat GTA 1 in like two minutes because you can just like park load of cars all together and then you just blow them all up and it gives you like a billion points because it like multiplies based on how many explosions you do in a row so you can beat the game like stupidly easy but if you want to do it like intended it's so hard it's easily the hardest GTA game it's not even close because yeah there's just no option to retry anything Any comments on how good this mission is? Uh, which one? Freefall? Yeah. Freefall is one of the, like, several missions in LV that just don't need to exist. Insanely cool concept, I'll give it that, but it's just very poor execution. It's exactly the same as what we were talking about low earlier. Like, the mission would be fine if you just didn't have to fly. There and back, and it's a yeah. sick Max Distro. Like, there's no reason for that flying to exist. It's just they holding W for like four minutes. For the Max is so absurd to me because like, the flight is so long. It's actually unreal how long you have to fly. You literally fly to Liberty City and back. Yeah. Like, it's like two and a half minutes of just holding W, and then like 30 seconds of gameplay, and then two and a half minutes of holding W. What is the point? Such a waste. Oh, someone play tested this and was like, hey, it, it seems good to me, honestly. I love how it's quite literally impossible to even catch up to this guy if you just miss it. Like, there is no way you do this mission just once in casual. Yeah. It is quite literally impossible. Yeah, like. If you just miss, you can just about catch up. Like, you yeah. move, like, maybe 1% faster than they do if you fly properly. But, exactly. yeah, if you whiff it, you're screwed. Like, you can't, you can't catch exactly. up. It's fucked. What a great boss fight, honestly. Yeah, and also the fact that, like, it all builds up to that boss fight. He spawns in your crosshair and dies in two bullets. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Crop Duster is a pain in this game, and it's so bad. You don't even get to fly it in Hondo. Thank God. I mean, it's a harder boss fight than some of the other boss fights in this game, like Kane or whatever. At least this guy does something sometimes. Not harder than Big Smoke, of course. But. Flying to Dam und Blast. That's cool. That's cool. 
remember the boomer days of crop duster flying in speedruns? That was the first time I ever touched SA was... Nah, what? Crop. When would you ever fly crop a crop duster? duster? What would even be the point? Because you, you duped Quarry and then uh, did Black Project before the fast setup was found to dupe Black Project. Um, and uh, the quickest way to get from Quarry to Airstrip is Crop Duster. That's too fucking silly, actually. <laughs> yeah, but it was... It's unironically, like, not a bad strat. They were just better. But, like, it was, like, a good beginner strat at the time. Obviously, nowadays, like, it's, there's so many other setups that are way better, but at the time, like, that was the beginner thing that people did. I think even Rock did it, and at the time, he was, like, fourth place or some shit. Like, party ships crash landed. This is the party. Because back then, the Black Project dupe setup was, like, really inconsistent. Nobody had figured out, like, a proper way to do it first with just, like, a call. So, yeah. Good times. Can make you dance. Why do you enter the plane first? Oh, you take a different one, right? Yeah, so you enter the plane first to spawn like the marker, and then you take a different plane. Because like, I think I thought the bike was blocking the door. Yeah, the mission wants you to like take that plane, fly to the marker, and then like bail out and parachute. But if you take a different plane, you can just keep the plane. And you don't have to parachute out. Just really nice. Only trouble is you don't actually know where the marker is. Uh, it's not on your map. So you have to fly up quite a bit. The OG is just put a mark on it. <laughs> Get in the plane, put a marker on it, and then just keep it there. Yeah. That's still the funniest shit ever to me, man. Oh, push the map, push the marker. There it is. Now I can find it. <laughs> After 10 years of speedrunning. Yeah. The only issue with the marker is it's so freaking high up, you have to really go hard to reach it. You'll see the plane spawns in as if we're, we've just jumped out of it, except we're jumping out of it in a plane. Not to mention that plane is just such a and you just fly in here and bail out. On it. Yeah, getting up to the height for the marker is a pain in the ass in that. In that plane, yeah. It's not good. You have to do it like really gradually. If you try and fly like 45 degrees up, you just any sign of him yet? Plummet. Stop him for Christ's sakes! He's in there somewhere. Start looking. Madman with a parachute and a knife runs into your facility. Get what do you do? <laughs> And a cycling yeah, uniform. <laughs> Can't forget that gym shorts. Yeah, it's actually great. Like how clueless they are. Yeah, it's meant to be a stealth yeah. mission, but you can just run through the whole place. Right at the end, this guard will like see you and start shooting at you. Yeah, find him. <laughs> He's literally like two centimeters away. Like one of the guys is like attacking you. We need more like, men in here. Must have been the wind. Ow. Hey, I found him. <laughs> yeah, I found him. Oh, I yeah. found him as he leaves. <laughs> And then CJ jumps off the dam like he's fucking golden eye. It's such a stone mission. Yeah. Quite silly. Brilliant. Right, it's time to go to this plane over here. And then it's time for quarry missions. Woo! Uh, is this thing gonna fly today? Oh, it's just I'm fucking uncapped on cap too early. Baby. Forgot about that. Yeah, you can only uncap once you actually take off. Forgot about that. <laughs> now nah, those police boats—they don't do anything. 
It looks so scary when they shoot, but they don't actually do any damage, really. Anyway, just gonna fly to La Quarry, which I definitely know where it is, by the way. Um, here it is. Could have put a marker on the map. Yeah. should go away anytime today, right? Hey, you can't do it at one at level. Nah, I always forget this. I'm usually just death warp after Demon Blast, but I always hope and think I can just fly here and get rid of my one at level. But it never works. <laughs> It'll go away today, don't worry. Death warping is just better, though. Come on. It'll go away. I'm just gonna fly around the circle for a bit. It feels like it, one star should go away pretty quickly, but yeah. for some reason, this one star after Demon Blast just takes two years to get rid of. Come on. I'm tempted to actually death warp now and like go back. Now, there we go. Come on, bud. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Yeah, that's why death warping is just a move after Demon Blast, usually. Okay, now. The first quarry mission is the one everyone actually knows, because it's the one you do in the dupe quarry as well. So there's only one rock instead of seven. Which is the pushing rocks over the edge mission. Um, for some reason. I actually don't know exactly what the point is. What, what the lore is here. But, all the same. Are kind of fun, honestly, I'm not gonna yeah, Quarry missions are chill as fuck, I think. This one might be one of the worst I'll ones, though. I'll be the judge once I've actually seen them. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you what the other ones are. I have, like, super vague memories of them, but... You have a timer, like they're in a rush to get these rocks pushed off the ledges or some shit. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, like the place blows up or something. <laughs> also, it's like, like, because you, you, you unlock this after explosive situation, right? Yeah. But in an explosive situation, you like go into the quarry and like destroy a lot of like. You, 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 like, steal one of their vehicles, use it to steal some of their stuff, potentially kill some of the workers, and then you come back and are like, yo, you guys hiring? Like, yeah. <laughs> you were the one who killed our workmate that we're trying to replace. But sure, <laughs> here's the job. <laughs> like, what? Like, how does that make any sense? Alright. For mission number, Ghost. To be honest, there is a lot of content in this game, but most of it is just unpolished, especially like side missions. It's quite sad. This one you have to push bombs away from like dangerous areas into markers. And they blow up afterwards. <laughs> push them into the safe zone and then just like stay in it. I'm like, nice! <laughs> fucking blows up immediately. <laughs> Thank you. 
These are a bit finicky to push though. Like they like to, especially on hills like this, they like to go under the truck and shit. Yeah. Classic. Notice how it waits for you to drive away before it blows up. It's like it knows. Oh, it does? It's yeah. Like a timer? Nah, it just waits for you to get in a safe distance before it blows up. I don't know, like, um, how, what, what the premise is. It somehow just knows, like, uh, proximity mines or whatever the shit is. Like, I don't know. Might be an issue got it up against the wall. Right, it'll be fine. Hey, two out of seven. Best way to get up is just take the Sanchez. It's gonna permanent respawn down there. But actually, a lot of the missions aren't even like really in the quarry. Those are like the two main bulldozer missions. Gets used the dumper as well. This is a classic banger. You have to chase down another dumper in your dumper. <laughs> It's like fucking robot wars. Yeah. See the alligator all the way nearby. Sooner or later, they know I'm gonna try. When she wave from the bank, you know I know it's a good buy fishing line. See you while I go. With the Louisiana woman waiting on the other side, the Mississippi River don't look so wide. Louisiana woman, Mississippi man. We get together every time we can And Mississippi River can't keep us apart There's too much love oh, you, You've done it now Yeah Oh, you learned that one from Grand Rally Didn't you? <laughs> How? Oh! Yeah, you gotta love highways oh. in this game Yeah, you gotta just find a better car in the dumper to get back That shit is not worth driving If you can't come to me, I'm gonna go to him That Mississippi River, Lord, I'm gonna Mississippi man. Alright, number four. Mississippi man. is about hiding the bodies or like burning the bodies rather of some like people they've killed apparently before the police arrive i think it's some law like that you just killed <laughs> oh is it those people yeah it's a rival company that planted like explosives in the oh nice quarry that was like the second one but you have to go over here and pick them up and then you have to dump them the they want you to go back to the entrance, but you don't actually need to. You can just pop into the quarry. If you bump into something, they will like fall out, which is kind of bad. But in theory, they're supposed to just stay in it like that. And then you can just dump them here. Excuse me? What? And you failed because you. I think they, I think I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't close enough to the fire. I think when I did that, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, you need to be like really close to the fire. Otherwise, the bodies don't make it to the fire and it's doomed. Any any French speakers can tell us the fail condition. <laughs> I mean, that is just it. They have to actually land in the fire. Have my PB as well. It's a hard mission, man.
time we just go again. Welcome, thanks to the big raid. In my feet, you were my left, in my tears, were my destiny and my fate. Kept you moving, you made me wait. Take two. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can just back off into this. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that trick. I discovered it last time I was doing this mission. Oh, I forgot about it. You can just back into it. Yeah. This time you have to deliver the explosives to the airstrip. And if you hit anything, you will instantly blow up and die. Um, so that's like a fun little, fun little feature. Great trap! Mary Beth Maybell spinning these CDs. Oh, this girdle is murder. Life is a transitory set of signifiers, and the dialectic will come out, as my mama used to say when daddy got drunk and horny with the pigs. For some reason you have to live it all the way down the airstrip at the other end. Before the rest of the core missions, since we are in the area. Oh, and it, it even takes you back to the quarry, right? Yeah. And I still don't have an AK, so I'm just gonna be running through this. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fast barrels. <laughs> That's a classic banger right there. But I haven't done this mission casually in a long ass time. You place a satchel and just run off, right? I think. Yeah. Carbon based buffoon. Yeah, I reckon that's it. You gotta blow it up, I think, as well, right? Nah, you don't. You just run out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. I know there is a fail condition for like leaving prematurely, but I guess that's like if you don't plant the satchel, you're just like, oh, you forgot for the mission fail. <laughs> yeah. Rip. Shit! Oh, I, I think if you blow it up early, you just fail as well. You have to actually oh, yeah, leave. Th then yeah. you just blow up and in, inside yeah. the plane. And... Yeah. But yeah, this is abusing the fall damage cap in this game. Which happens to be slightly lower than the max health. So, let's see if there's anything good here. Hey, there's a Yugoslavian flight attendant that survived something like this from like <laughs> 13 kilometers off. So it's possible. Yeah, realistic game if you ask me. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. So don't you think about sitting down? Yeah! 
And then there was all the people that were like really stunned by it because they were like, that's impossible. You fall from that height, you must be falling like a million miles an hour because they have like, <laughs> just no concept of like terminal velocity or anything. It's like, what do you mean you can only fall so fast? <laughs> Oh, it's 10 kilometers. My bad. Ah, Only so 10, what a really. loser. Yeah. <laughs> Only 10. Nah, this mission is the greatest, though. To drive the train tracks and clear it out of explosives. And the fastest train you've ever seen will cruise through immediately afterwards. Yeah. Brilliant mission. <laughs> I love how this this one road in the desert here works as a highway, so like everyone's driving super fast. You can actually like fuck up and like move these barrels like back on the track if you're not careful. So once they're off the track, they aren't just done. You have to make sure you don't bring them back with you. Give me that bike. Stay. <laughs> it is flying. Can I get something now? Yeah? It's the classic like uh, movie scene where it's like two minutes away for ages. Yeah. The second you complete the objective, it's two seconds away. No choo choo train strat. Yeah, you can use it to like push yourself and fly back to quarry in theory, but you know, it's a little bit, a little bit frisky that one. Or you just like let yourself. You let yourself get hit by the train and just pray. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. And it is the final quarry mission, the hardest one, you know. This is. This is actually a challenge sometimes, this mission. I really don't like it very much. You have to like... Actually a challenge sometimes. You have to go down here and first of all, you have to push a cop bike and a cop into a marker and then you have to pick them up with a crane. <laughs> awful. Everything about this mission is awful. So step one is pop the tires on the bike so it's easy to push. Well documented placebo. But no, it actually does work. Hmm. The difficult thing is pushing the cop. That guy is. He doesn't like being pushed around. Not by him, Lord. Yeah, no, they didn't really give the dead body a really good hitbox in this game. Kind of goofy. <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> He's just tied up and he's just rolling around. Oh my god. It's like torpedoing. And he's so around. he's so thin that he'll just get under the bulldozer all the time and yeah. Uh, yep, it's Yeah, and now he's stuck so underneath gray. it. <laughs> there we go, on a roll. What's the law? Something about like you had, some cop came and investigated all the shit you've done and you killed him and now you have to hide the evidence. Some shit like that. that Probably.
definitely hiding the evidence anyways. So you have to pick them up with the crane because human body is well known magnetic uh, thing, so <laughs> picking up <laughs> pick him up by his belt buckle. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually picking him up by his head. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Oh my god. But yeah, I've had like a surgery or something in a, in the past. Now the ultimate challenge of trying to get the thing in the back of the uh, oh dump. <laughs> Alright, we'll get it eventually. We've got to have the perfect line up here. It's going to swing in in a second. going to swing. Boom. Wow. Clean with it. I can understand for the bike. Yeah, the bike makes sense, right? There's got to be some metal on that. But uh, this, like, this shit makes in. no sense. Surely you can just carry him. It can't be that heavy, right? Yeah, that's what I mean, right? <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you just, you know, these glowies, man, they're, they're made out of metal, I think. They're magnetic. Good. What a way to go. Poor oh, guy. More than and now, like, once they're in the dumper, they're glued to it. Like, they can't fall out. Unless you hit something. As soon as you hit something with the dumper, immediately they'll just roll out. You gotta be very careful when you drive this thing. Yeah, it's like you, you try and go up the hill, like as soon as you drive away after doing all this, the guy just falls down yeah. and it's like, well, back to the crane. <laughs> There's no other way. Never. Oh, it's fine. Okay. And yeah, you gotta dump into the water. Because you have no fire. Dump it like six feet away from the establishment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing to do with it, guys. <laughs> And that's quarry Not missions. Only that, but you do it like next to a busy highway where there's like a hundred yeah. businesses easily. Didn't see nothing. Yeah. If someone did see it, they're gonna end up with him. Exactly. And now you really want to get a bike. But in lieu of that, we'll just take this bench. No, man. There's a bike. Oh, yeah, causing a bit of a traffic jam here with the dumper. Um. I'm dead. Yep. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Highway traffic, man. Did the bike run you over? What? Everyone's running me over right now. What is happening? It's actually annoying because I have to pick up some horseshoes over there, so I still have to go all the way over there. No choice. Pop in here. Pick up the horseshoes. That I can definitely find from this angle that I'm not used to. Time for cop wheels. Which we can't use this cop bike for, I'm afraid. You have to collect four cop bikes and the one I'm on right now just isn't quite isn't quite good enough. Oh make you don't make sure you don't fuck it up like you did in 2019. <laughs> I'll never let you forget that one. Wait, Thank what you. happened? Beep. 
blew up one of the bikes, like in front of the hospital, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did it put braces for the next six months? He's like, uh oh, crucial cop wheels. Cop wheels. <laughs> More case. Nah, so cop wheels has the hacker driving around town and. I still. Like, you're kind of on a timer with it, basically. You need to do all the stuff at, like, on the right cycle. Otherwise, if you fall behind, you're just doomed. It takes forever. So, falling off the bike is really, really suboptimal. Costs way more time than you think falling off the bike even once. And yeah, we're gonna pick up some horseshoes in the way. First cop bike's over there. Um, the quick detour to get a spray can first, and yeah, like, I don't know where that. Where was he going, man? Hey, yeah, this is like already a pretty big setback, but it's definitely definitely overcome. Gotta pick up the spray can here. Ford LV tags. Yeah, of course. Yeah, every like cop bike has like a little meme going on. This cop is like dealing with this drunk guy. And yeah, first cop bike gonna use it to set up the timing for the packer and pick up some more shoes eventually. Because the packers like spawns in a really awkward location for most of the cop bikes. You need it to progress just a little bit before you really want to start delivering bikes. And you'll see this the timing is gonna work out like perfectly essentially. Yeah, shout out to Casta for all this shit. Yeah, this is good stuff. I think I'm actually not forgetting any collectibles, which is nice. Another W today. No radio on uh, service vehicles. Alas. Would be nice, wouldn't it? But, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, now I can deliver the cop bike and like, if done perfectly the Packer will be like at the exact location where I need to turn for the next cup bike. But because I fell off once, it's going to be a bit, a bit advanced, I think. And it looks like it's actually pretty okay. Still. Yeah, you'd want it to be about here. Not too bad. And then you need to RNG another bike, ideally. Not gonna happen this time. Just get a bit of radio instead. Yeah, next cop bike's at the hospital doing God knows what. Actually, I don't even know what this guy's doing. He's got a helicopter here as well. House is a movement that requires a leader. I am that leader. That is me. I am now your leader. And 
Yeah, the pack I won't have moved too far. It'll be like around the bend at this point. Hopefully this time I can RNG a couple. Oh, I can just a PCJ. One in front of me. Did this guy crash into it? Yeah, so this guy's not this guy's driving into a PCJ, which means he's not going at normal speed. And it doesn't let you get off the cop bike until the pack is moving at uh at normal speed. So yeah. I couldn't actually get off until now. Fuck off. Let me get a bike. Come on! Take this. Third cop bike is just at the police station. Parked very conveniently here. And yeah, you can just go out here and catch the packer as it's driving past. Last cop bike is conveniently right next to where the packer is. The end. I don't make this get really ugly. Yeah, this is all set up for the big epic heist mission, which is actually pretty cool. Um. And for some reason it's optional. I really feel like it shouldn't be, because like half the LV missions are basically leading up to the highest that you don't have to actually complete. Yeah, it's so stupid. It's really silly. Alright, after Black Project, I saved before this mission just to set the time right. So now I can just instantly start Black Project after buying this house. Did anyone fall off their bike here? Dude, I thought someone fell off their bike, but apparently not. I'm dangerous. What a record. It's beautiful. I tried out for Belle Biv DeVoe. I nearly missed it. I just didn't pick the story at all. I mean, there really is not much of a story left at this point in the game, honestly. Like, it's all really a mess. The heist is one of the more interesting things to actually happen in the game. Now you know. who, who cares whether it affects it or not? Like, the entire point of you doing these missions yeah. is to prepare for the heist. If you then don't do the heist, then they're all just a waste of time. Exactly. That's the issue. Yeah, they make you do all the setup. A lot of the setup is forced, right? Like, you can't avoid doing it. So. Yeah. It's a bit silly. Uh, I still don't have an AK. What was that noise? Who's there? Possible intruder sighted. Condition blue. Set searchlights to try. I actually have nothing to slide with. I have a spray can. Actually. I'll have a minigun soon as well. Yeah. And slide with the uh, the silence pistol as well. To get... Yeah, that's true. And the sniper, I guess. But none of them are really that great. Installation personnel, please be aware. Mini gun sliding, man. Pod. I've got the optimal movement, I don't really care. Oh, <laughs> Is this enough health to here, jump? 
This should be enough. Oh, I, I guess armor doesn't affect jumping, right? No, it doesn't. I feel like it looks to me like it's just enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. You're fine. I'm gonna try my luck with it. Be fine. Yeah, yeah perfect. Not even close, in fact. Yeah, it's fine. You don't need health for anything for the moment. No real way of losing HP. Green goo, they usually don't shoot at you that much, that it's going to be an issue. After green goo, there's just a big jetpack segment with nothing happening, so... Yeah, that's Black Project. Carl, dude, man. Hey, here you go. You better stash it somewhere fast. Far out. Have a nice trip, dude. Hey, wait a Once minute. again, the meme of uh, to get a lift in the town. you doing this for somebody and them going thanks and driving off and leaving you in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> It's good though, because this is right next to um, the next mission. It's perfect. Yeah, high noon does make this less offensive, but yeah, you, know, you can complete high noon before Black Project. Yeah, of course. Always work out. Yeah. High noon is meant to be like this really long chase mission, but I've actually haven't done it since I was like eight. I don't think. No idea what this mission's really about. Yeah, you can just turn his car around and then kill him. Really not that epic of a boss fight. Not feeling so fucking full of yourself now, huh? <laughs> In fact, the uh, the the first ever like Fuck. prototype of this strat, uh, you use the minigun to shoot the back of the car to spin it around. To the end. Um, oh, nice. The the actual car is like bulletproof, so you can just shoot it without blowing it up. And then people realize later on that you can just push it. Stop. No point in wasting all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, save the Sanchez. Or driving to the airstrip. Because the green goo is affected by high accuracy, so you really don't want to drive there in a car. You will get absolutely murked if you do drive to the green goo in a car. I was always under the impression that a jetpack gave increased accuracy. Nah. Is that not true? Nope. It's still like, even after you enter the jetpack, it's still based on the last vehicle. Based on the last vehicle that you yeah. have, yeah. Good to know. Yeah, green goo, you need to steal the green goo from the train, and this is relevant to the story because the, um... <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's really important <laughs> that you complete this mission, in fact. Not the highest, of course, but this one, vital. Yeah, the train takes a little bit to arrive, so you can just pick up some horseshoes while you wait. Just one, in fact. Yeah, this one's kind of on the way. The train will be just arriving. No, this is as always made to be the third box you shoot is the one that has the goo, so you just gotta grind through them. And yeah, they don't really shoot you enough to actually cause any issues. And on the way back, that should not with boosted health and armor. I mean, yeah, I only have armor, no health, but still, yeah. yeah. 
I got these two horseshoes. I'm slowing down a bit there because I don't want to get cycled. It's the classic meme with six frame cycles in this game, so it only checks if you're actually touching the horseshoe every six frames. You can just fly right through it. Isn't it much less of a problem on high FPS though? Yeah, but I'm capped at the moment because I'm going to do oysters and stuff. Oh yeah. Now that's it. Woo. This one's gonna be a big one, no? NK, yeah, huge. God damn. I'm gonna wait for that to generate and come back and collect it, that's for sure. <laughs> Only got 1.3 mil in the bank. I was gonna say, it's like, a, it's like 0.7% of your income. Yeah. And yeah, this uh, begins the incredible 15 minute jetpack sec. Which includes flying around with a jetpack and picking up collectibles that you can't really get conveniently otherwise. Starting with this oyster placed in a really interesting location that you definitely visit in a casual playthrough. Right here. Yeah. It kind of goes to show just how empty LV is, because for everything else you can route it decently, but yeah, exactly. LV collectibles you just can't. LV is the only city where you can't really route collectibles into the missions, because the missions just don't take you anywhere at all, really. Like, even though there's a hundred tags... Uh, yeah, go on. I was gonna say we got quick uh, donation. Eight dollars from Kermish. Thank you very much. And Big. this puts us to seventeen fifty. Nah, it's going too crazy. Everyone's yeah, everyone's going ham today. Big what did we start at though. today? We started at something like eleven. Eleven hundred, right, or something? I think, yeah. Some shit like that, yeah. So we've raised. Ah, uh, making big moves. Today. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who's supported so far. I think we can uh, make a good stretch towards two K by the for end. Sure, for sure, for sure. The whole another run after this, I mean, like, there's yeah. no lack of content today. Yeah, buy that house. That house is pretty cool. It has a unique interior. Um, you don't get to go in it, that was in the run, but it's a cool house. Yeah, some of these houses are just really, like, weird locations, like, randomly on top of the containers here. This one at least makes sense. It's on top of like the one casino outside the strip that you can actually enter right? this casino here. Not many people know about it. Um, or maybe lots of people do know about it. I didn't know about it for a long time. Wait, what's that? Sorry? This casino here, you can actually go in out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh. And it has like a whole whole special interior and stuff. It's kind of cool. Oh. This one here, I don't even know what the building is. Souvenirs? Yeah, I thought there was only the two casinos. Didn't know there was a third one. Yeah, there's the third one outside, um... Like, it's just, huh? just packed away. And then there's this house out here in the area you literally would never ever go to. The most abandoned area of LV out here. The only thing out here is a house and a couple of horseshoes and whatever this building in the back is. No clue. I would love to see some actual gameplay out here. It would be awesome. Something. Anything. There's like a cool building there, there's a massive shopping center over there, like loads of shit you could do something with, surely. Uh. Another hotel suite?
I mean, yeah, this game was massive for its time already, but like, I would have just fleshed it out more. I feel like there's no need to be like this big if you're not going to put anything in it, in my opinion. It's quality over quantity. Yeah, you exactly. You can make a game as big as you want, but if there's nothing there to do, then what's the point? Fallout 76 moment, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. actually faster to buy the clown um hotel suite later even though it seems intuitively faster here but it's not timing has been done yeah pirates in men's pants And now we're almost at the second part of the jetpack segment. Woo! Gotta love it. Yeah, there was just one horseshoe on top of the four dragons casino. Not on like a cool place like on one of the towers. No, no, no. Nothing like that. Just randomly on the back. A sniper, you didn't know that. Okay, time for up, up, and away. Another brilliant ice setup mission. This is the mission where you have to go and steal a helicopter with a magnet so that you can pick up a car. You can fly to the other side of the map with the car. For some reason. It's so much going across the map, it's insane. First you have to go across the all of LV to the helicopter, then you have to fly across LV again to the car, and then across LV again to the airstrip. It's just a Why? just a tiny bit excessive, I would say. Why would they do this? <laughs> and then the helicopter as well is the slowest helicopter in the game. It's so bad. I'm pretty sure the one on top of the pyramid is probably the only horseshoe you ever find in like casual gameplay because who doesn't actually go up here? Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone goes on top of the pyramid in their casual playthrough. You just have to do it, no? No choice. I feel like the other one that a lot of people find is the one that you get on green goo, you know, on the way back. That's like... Oh yeah, the one the in, under the sign? Under the sign. Yeah. 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 Because, like, you're kind of drawn to it, and it's, like, perfectly on the way back. Mm. Yeah, it's you find that one, I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the big, like, shopping center, whatever. Which just is so empty. Yeah. There, oh, there is actually people spawning. I didn't even know that. Yeah, and there is a clothes shop as well that you can go into. But... <laughs> they only spawn on the sidewalk. This is so bad, man. Yeah, just like one little bit of it. And they just walk like back and forth. Yeah, oh, they have nothing God. Else to do. Yeah, you can tell LV is like really unfinished on this game. Yeah. But here you can actually get hit by a train and die. Um... That's a fun one. Oh yeah, there's also a horseshoe like right in the uh, the airport as well. There's free in the airport, in fact. Yeah. For some reason, just randomly scattered around the airport, they just put free horseshoes. Brilliant placement, if you ask me. No. Yeah. And here they put a horseshoe and an oyster. Just you know, why not? Proximity penalty. Yeah. Yep.
Oh yeah, also this there's so much shit in LV that just yeah. has nothing That's like a hot, going hot on. Line of shot that yeah. Used or anything. It's like again, like is does it make it good because it's got loads of dead content? No. It's, if anything, it's worse. This one is hands down my favorite oyster though. This is the literally the corner of the map. And there's a boat. That's the only thing marking this oyster is the boat. It's out here. I don't know why you would ever find this. Hey, the weird thing is that you might think that the boat is just random, like Yeah, exactly. That's like that's, you, there's so many random boats on this map. That. Yeah, you wouldn't look at that and go like, oh it's like a landmark I should yeah. look there. Yeah, the first, the, after you've made your way on top of the corner of the map, cliff, you look out, you see a boat, like, ah, yes. Surely there's <laughs> something here. It makes so much sense now. <laughs> yeah. But then at, like, that place with the big industrial, like, piping that goes into the water, there's nothing there. Yep. At least this is but used like... once. Uh, big thing here for this mission only. And yeah, you're gonna wanna get off here and just snipe the guards. Here is where we do the glitch to get minigun. So, just hover in the marker and press F and immediately you just have 30,000 minigun ammo added. Basically, if you're not familiar with how that works, um, so anytime you're given like quote unquote infinite ammo with anything, it's never actually infinite. It's just 30,000 of whatever yeah. ammo type it is. Um, so, for example, like when you when you activate that like that minigun that's like mounted, you just have 30,000 bullets. You can actually run out if you try hard enough. Um, so yeah, that glitch basically just like lets you keep the minigun. Like pull it away from the turret, basically. And you just end up keeping the thirty thousand ammo that the game gives you. Yeah, now you yeah, get the magnet helicopter. And the most annoying thing about this helicopter is that you don't get to keep it after the mission. The magnet just yeah. goes away. Yeah, there's this area here, where, you know, could be something cool here. Nope. Just a spray can. This area here, I don't even know what this is, but it's here. Car park, random, unmarked building. Could be anything. Another area that's only used in this mission. For some reason, the car is just parked here. You couldn't, you couldn't have stolen it. You have to get it with the helicopter. It's the only way. <laughs> People like this mission so much that they did it in VCS, but they make you do like it like four times in a row. That song. <laughs> <laughs> right at the climax of the song. That's fucked up. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I despise the free bird solo. It's so fucking awful to listen to. I'm fine with the rest of the song, but when it gets to the solo, I just can't do it anymore.
want my money back. <laughs> You're acting like I fucking changed it. <laughs> I explained. <laughs> Tough luck, famous. Give a smile when they want you to say, Yo, Mike, check this out. See if this one is. It's CSR. What else could it be? Guy singing in unison about you. You know what I mean, girl? Okay, in theory, I could die to hunger, but my, like, Hunger cycle is like super fine at the moment, so there's no way it's gonna happen. With guns and drugs. Oh, so shut up! CSR, CSR 103.9. Contemporary Soul Radio. Hey, you never trust the big button this month. Yeah, now it's time for air races, which is arguably even more boring than what you've just written. So, it doesn't really get better, unfortunately. As much as I would like to say that it does, it doesn't. All downhill from here. Yeah. It gets better eventually, you know. Just not right now. So yeah, Ares is kind of a cool idea, but there's just too many of them and they're too long. As is the classic that we've discovered so far. Yep. I say most of the content is good, but there's too much of it and it's too long. Yeah, it really feels like they had like just benchmarks on how long things have to take. And yeah, <laughs> legit. <laughs> like, hmm, the playtime is too short. Make the player go around LV three times. <laughs> exactly. Also, they could have made the air races a bit more interesting. Like, I enjoyed the the thing in GTA 5 where you have to do like knife flights and shit, like fly between like buildings, like on your side and shit. The areas in this game are just way too easy. There is never a challenge. It's just market to market type shit like this. Yeah, the, the whole thing of like, oh, do this boring thing and then do it again to try and beat your score and get nothing. Like, yeah. It, it wasn't the fun the first time. Why would it be fun the second time? What? It didn't didn't work in GTA 3. It doesn't work in VC. And it didn't work in SA either. You'd think they would have learned by the third game that tried to pull this shit. Crazy. So if anything, this is probably the best air race. It's like it's short, it's somewhat interesting, I guess. Like this one's not too bad. But after this it gets worse. Oh well, I guess Heli Hill is the best one. But after Heli Hill it's downhill. Heli Hell is the only one that's actually a challenge. Like, yeah. if you're if you're a casual player trying to fly a helicopter, you're gonna struggle with Heli Hell. Yeah. Don't you take like? To be a good so yeah, I'm pretty sure even this race you can probably play it with your feet and you'll be fine. Like, it's really not too much going on. It does have a really cool strat at the end. Where I'm gonna go for a tag in like the very end of the fade. Pretty cool, but that's about it. Just trying to like jump out at the perfect time and get the tag. Yeah. Good, Good one. Yeah, that was clean. The heli hell, before I actually do the race, I'm gonna just fly over here. There's a tag and an oyster over here that you can't really pick up conveniently anywhere else. So I'm just gonna park my helicopter, make sure it doesn't land in the water. That's like the main thing to avoid here. And since you you're not actually racing, you just have to complete the course. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna lose. But you are actually gonna lose the first one because it's planned, but yeah. Yeah. This is gonna, time is gonna run out exactly on the oyster. Yeah. I'm gonna run out exactly on the oyster, which is pretty, pretty neat how this works out. Honestly, like, it just happens to work out perfectly. Uh, you can get the tag and the oyster. Um. 
understanding when he don't die young He'll probably just ride away Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys Don't let them pick guitars and drive them old trucks Make them be doctors and lawyers and such yeah, this mission's actually kind of hard. You have to fly this big pad helicopter through like lampposts, trees, and buildings and LS. It's pretty cool. I like this race. And it's really difficult. Like, as soon as you hit something like this, it just, everything just crumbles. You actually have to have your brain switched on for this one. <laughs> Start bouncing around. Yeah, this is this is pretty neat. Under the freeway, like round the pillars. Yeah, I like this stuff. Yeah, loads of songs were removed from this game even before Definitive Edition. Like in the Steam version of this game, there's like loads of songs that you don't actually get on the radio. I don't remember which ones it is, but I know there's like a handful. Yeah, it's the same with uh, VC as well. Yeah. Same thing happened. But thankfully on this version, we have it all. Live in Texas. Yeah, right here I'm just gonna park the helicopter for a brief second in the observatory to pick up this tech. I guess the Steam version also just sucks speedrunning. So it's like a win win on that one. And yeah, once again, you can pick up a tag at the end of this race. Yeah. In theory, if I wasn't bad, <laughs> now I can't actually pick it up. I'll just get laid on, okay? I'll not bother. And yeah, it's just downhill from here now. Some of these are really, really tragic, these air races. This one again, not too bad. Two minutes long. Flying a new helicopter. That's pretty cool. You don't get to fly this at all. Like, how do you get a new helicopter in this game even? Does it spawn anywhere? I don't know. I guess you have to steal it, right? Yeah, you, you can't steal it. Yeah, you, you do it in the horseshoes yeah. run. Like, I was gonna say, they used to do that in the horseshoes in LV, I think. Yeah, but it's like not it's like not to easy to steal a helicopter out of the air, like... <laughs> no, it is not. And honestly, like, the new helicopter is one of the most enjoyable helicopters to fly. Feels very comfy.
This PW run legit. How is he so good? It's legit. He just does he just does things no one else could do, man. Crazy that guy. Yeah, like finish your run. <laughs> <laughs> he has finished more runs than me. He's finished two and I've only finished one. You know, he's got me there. He's got me a two to one on finished runs, but it'll be two two after today, I promise you. Yeah, it just gets worse now. Flying a Maverick, two and a half minutes in the desert, where there's actually just nothing going on. This run is still valid? Yeah. Nothing wrong with this run. Well, there's loads of things wrong with the run, but... <laughs> Technically, nothing, nothing bad has happened. Like, haven't had to load any practice saves or anything, just... Just been chilling. I'm incredible, I'm amazing. Think about what no crashes? We're good. I know in my PB that I failed 8 track on lap 12, which is like 5 minutes. I don't remember what else happened in LS. RCLS, rather. My PB. Three hitboxes, man. I always forget how big they are. On ET, I mean, ET is 12:30, so I'd have to mess up a lot, not be on track for that. I've already like messed up a lot, and it's not even near enough to get. 30 pace. Oh yeah, now it gets real, real bad. Dude, that's not what I wanted to start. Thank you very much. There you go. Keep on moving. Wait, you actually get the radio in the Hydra? Bro, this is so blessed, actually. I'm super relieved now. <laughs> I thought I had to do four yeah, minutes of no usually... radio. I think it usually just is, like, off by default, right? I think. Yeah, but, like, other service vehicles, you have to, like... You just don't have a choice, right? Do you know what momentum is? I guess, yeah. I, I wouldn't usually class this as a service vehicle, but... Oh yeah, but like, you know, you can do... Can you do Vigilante in this? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I'm just trolling then. Yeah, I guess I'm trolling. My bad. If you could do Vigilante in this, it'd probably be like... Merit to doing it, right? Die way too slow. Would it? Yeah. 
you'd be like attacking the same, like using the same kind of firepower, but you'd just be flying to the target. Now you have only rockets on this, and it'd be hard to hit with the same accuracy as the hunter. Like the speed isn't really that useful because the spawns are so close in Vigilante. Like you wouldn't get much value out of the speed. A lot of the time you just fly over the targets, and then you have to like, yeah. you know, turn around and go back to them. Yeah, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, there's no way you can do vigilante in this. Because the vigilante button just puts the fucking wheels down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there's no way, people are lying to me. <laughs> I'm always right. I don't, I don't know why I doubt myself. I'm yeah. always right. Always I thought right. I didn't beat you good, actually. Like, But uh, yeah, people uh, people are on board with uh, doing vigilante in this, apparently. Guess you can't. You got it. Someone even said, that's how I do vigilante. <laughs> okay, so, so, so one of us is going insane. Because yeah, it's it must be. How do you do it? <laughs> that's what threw me off. It was like, hey, you can do it. So I was like, yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, all I'm going to say is, when you press the submission button, it's just the wheels that move. That's it. So I don't know how you start it. Maybe you can like start it in a different police vehicle, exit, enter the Hydra, and it counts as being in a police vehicle. Maybe. Uh, uh. Yeah, but it, I mean, it's plausible, right? It just says get in a police vehicle to continue vigilante. Maybe it counts. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. You mean like, yes, yeah, start it. Start it on a cop bike and then get in this instead, yeah. for example. Yeah, yeah. I get what you mean now. I thought you meant like in GTA 3 where you could like get the Banshee to do taxi missions. Oh, nah, nah. Nothing like that. Where you like hold the submission into another vehicle and I was like, I don't know if that works in SA, so I'm pretty sure they fixed that. No, the fun race. Nah, this is the best race for sure. We can switch on the, the red shit. And we can fly it for a grand total of five fucking minutes in this shit. All that even these planes that you barely see have like a kind of gimmick to them though. Like, yeah. Even the crop duster has the thing where like you drop the more dust, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Cops are still on me, of course. <laughs> Just trying to chase me on the ground. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I am still absolutely blown away by the whole boat school thing and why you get four stars. <laughs> I still haven't recovered from that. <laughs> like five hours later. I don't know if I, for some reason I thought you were going to say it, I'm still absolutely blown away by the KF console. <laughs> I swear. Like, like, that shit is still on my mind. It actually blew my mind that so few people have heard heard about the KF console. I thought it was just like some well-known thing. Apparently not. I'm blown away. 
actually sample a fucking kettle for this song which is just brilliant I mean I love it <laughs> man can you just finish the race already all right there's only two minutes left or like one minute or something or like to Rio. Alright, beautiful. Finally, I get to play the game again. <laughs> Woo. It's a quick death pop here. At the end. And now I get to go do Mad Dog. Mad Dog is kind of a weird mission. You can just do it whenever you want. Like, this shit has been unlocked for ages. But you can kind of save it. Does that start the RTLs chain? Nah, you have to, you have to do this to get... Uh, yeah, okay, what's it called? St. Mark's Bistro, right? St. Mark's Bistro. Yeah. LV works the same as LS, and it's yeah. like a load of strands that you need to complete to unlock the final like segment. Exactly. Yeah. Our TLS is unlocked like linearly. Like you do, uh, you do St. Mark's, and you do Home in the Hills, and you do Vertical Bird. Yeah, this is just random when he jumps. This is the just a fun little piece of RNG in the middle of LV. Yeah. And this mission is also uh, why the game tells you if you use a cheat, don't fucking save your game. Because if you use the pedestrian riot cheat at any point during the playthrough and you save your game, you have locked yourself out of completing the game. Yep. That's a classic the, uh, banger. Yeah, the, the cheat carries over, even if you like save and deactivate the cheat and whatnot, it just it just stays, yep. uh, the effect, and because Mad Dog is technically a pedestrian, as soon as he spawns in the mission, he'll just run off the edge, because he's, you know, like, rioting, yeah. and you'll just fail the mission every single time, there's nothing you can do about it. Gold -plated Classic. Pocket size yeah. mirrors. Nothing could be more convenient for the hardworking clean. The only thing you can do is like if you're on PC, you, need. you can uh, like use a save editor to like remove the cheat basically. You're a dead man. Shoot him up dead. Aside from that, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, that's my dog. Just don't cheat. But do cheat, but just don't save your game when it tells you not to. <laughs> 
Like, if you're gonna cheat, just save beforehand and then don't save afterwards. Hey, you wanna learn- You wanna learn some new moves? Yeah, these are the second moves to the game. This guy doesn't really put up much of a fight. You can just get him down and start stomping him. Death. Watch this. And he'll teach you how to punch someone. It's just, just a punch. The first move. Wait, is he not even doing the moves? Wait. Oh, there you go. That's better. Yeah, just kind of wave your arm around. <laughs> it's so goofy. Kick. Love it. Just keep piling on the pressure. Keep piling on the pressure. Time to fight back. Punch. And that's it. Brilliant. I have now learned how to move my arms and punch and kick people. Amazing. Hello, I'm late. And now it's time for LV Courier, the final Courier missions in the game. Um, well, the shortest and probably the most fun as well. Did you get to drive a Faggio? Which is always a classic banger. The good old hairdryer. Too late for melee combat. Or white. Your girl loves me now. She oh, what this Pajo? Yeah. yeah. This is light blue. Uh, it's blue. It's like sky blue, basically, I would say. Surely you could just shoot him. Well, believe it or not, it's quite difficult to learn gym moves from someone that you've just beheaded with a, uh... <laughs> yeah, you do have to actually fight them with, a with melee. <laughs> yeah. He can't teach you when he's dead. And as per usual with Courier, the, the second level of Courier always is sh longer than the third, even though it has one checkpoint less. It's an ongoing theme in every Courier in the game, for some reason. Yeah, there is a pizza boy in SA, but there's no missions attached to it. I feel like it's such a missed opportunity to not at least have a courier with the pizza boy, right? Like, why not? Instead of making this a burger a shot, place. yeah, you could just have made it a pizza place. What? <laughs> you make it a pizza place and you use a pizza boy instead? But nah, just a burger place with a normal ass Faggio. Boring as shit. If you ask me, but... One, two. Microphone checker, one, two. Microphone checker, one, two. Microphone checker, one, two. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah, if you destroy Dizzy's car on Ice Cold Killer, um, before he has the chance to enter it, then yeah, he uh, Pizza Boy spawns and he steals that. Sometimes I like the chill, sometimes I like the mingle, sometimes I get the fever for the flavor of a single. Sexy young Slimmy, but not too young though. That's because Jimmy. Our playback of them goes so fucking crazy, actually. He's about to break your body from the tip of your toe All the way up until your last hair follicle Hey, hey it's me, the diabolical Yes, y'all, yes, it's time yes. for me to fall into a funky beat To make you have a ball and like jump Make you move your rump on the floor and like jump Come on, don't be a chump, I see four and maybe five Live party people, but the rest did not survive Why? They had a Let me get off the slow road here for a bit the strip, all of the strip is a slow road, it's really AIDS, but a few places you can actually get off it. Yeah, the pizza boy does spawn in traffic, but it's very rare and it's only in like 
certain like um what are they even called those areas like industrial air zones yeah for some reason <laughs> Great. Yeah, you meant to do a jump here. It's not my best work right now. Come on, I'll get there. I could just go around at this point, but. You commit now, you gotta fucking. Yeah, once you commit it, you have to actually jump to the wall, right? Yeah, exactly. Fuck you all. You dare disrespect me like that? Love no. Ah, yeah. Turning on this like downward slope is not the easiest thing in the world. A winner never quits. So those that used to diss me in the past, I haven't fit. But I just sit back and kick my feet up on the table. Cause I'm able to rock a crowd without a table. Yeah, this is the same as like when an angry pedestrian or like angry driver just pisses you off. So you just chase him around and then pull him out and chainsaw him. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like 2,000 bullets in him. Great. Yeah. Most mentally stable GTA players <laughs> cut you off and you chop them into a million pieces. Make it so even their closest family members can't recognize them at the fucking morgue. You think you're American, but do, do you drink American? After a hard day at work, and I like to relax hard, get really. Then you realize pixels don't feel pain, so you get even more angry. <laughs> And now I can do it without gaining pounds, thanks to new Lager Light. Drink even more, gain less. It's the Lager Light. Drink more, gain less. I didn't know you drank light beer. Are you going to start wearing dresses and drinking wine coolers too? Well, then I explained it facilitated alcoholism without the attendant weight gain. And they really switched. Now we're all Lager Men. Lager Light or Light in the Beer, not in the loafers. This is why playback is the best, by the way. It's because it has only bangers, I swear. Uh. You kids get to bed, I get the story. When people wore pajamas and lived life slow, when laws were stern and justice stood, and people were behaving like they ought to good, they lived a little boy. So you can actually pick up Millie's keycard while you're doing courier, like, uh, you don't actually have to, like, not be on a mission or whatever, and just enter the house. Even though it's a marker on the map, pick it up, like a mission marker? No. <laughs> Yeah, that's the end of LV career. Gonna make it back. And then almost the end of LV actually. Jesus. Runs almost over. I didn't even realize. It's been. Shit, it's actually flew by. Beautiful. Alright. Now there's only St. Mark's Bistro. Trucking 8. And. Breaking the bank. And. Ammunition and. A few other things. Oh yeah, you have to do ammunition legit, right? Yeah. I just realized I actually normally do ammunition in non-linear. I just didn't do it this time because I was like, non-linear was an interesting period of the stream. 
<laughs> say the least. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just have to do an LB. It's fine. It's only like eight minutes extra. Coming. Ending up uh, owning the business from working from the bottom, truly climbing the ladder. Yeah. Hey, bike, yeah. Knock him out. Alright, time for the long flight. Time for finally the changing camera tutorial. I can't wait. Yeah, they want you to use a cinematic camera here so you can see nothing. There's literally nothing here. And I guess I fly back. Him on the top and her on the bottom. Hold you tight and I'm never let you go. Then low. Sip the CEO to pro. So ladies, if you're down to play, my boy Johnny's gonna rub you the right way. Gotta say, the cinematic camera when you're flying is pretty cool, honestly. Yeah. One of the few times yeah, it's actually cool. pretty neat. For like five seconds. All star entertainer, good with the women and children. I'm wearing a sports jacket and gonna make sure you don't uh, sink it by mistake. Yeah. Let's get ready to get down. Do some formation dancing, East Coast style, here on the West Coast. Ain't that incredible? I can sing, girl. I can dance. I can clown around. You know that. That's the trouble with CSR. There's only like five songs in this radio. That's yeah. what makes me so special. Some radios have like 20, and this one has like eight. Bit unlucky, but. How you and I can get sensitive. It's about me, girl. Come on. Yeah, we're just gonna do a quick crash landing. One out of Liberty City, requesting final approach to Los Venturas International. Over. Flight CJ101, you are clear. I don't know if any of the 3D GTAs have timelines that cross each other. Um, I don't think any of them do. Like 3VC and the SA don't. 
at least like not the actual game world because like like for, like gta 3 and sa do in the sense that claude appears in both games but like the timelines don't cross because obviously like you know like yeah GTA, like gta 3 is like uh, way later Andreas. yeah exactly it's like san andreas isn't really referenced in three besides in like passing like you don't see cj or anything at the time did somebody tell you um lcs and vcs not really they're just prequels again they don't really cross with anything and yeah. I, yeah, I, don't, I can't think of anything yeah just like references like pommy is referenced in this game but you never see him or anything it's not like GTA 4 where there's that one mission where like GTA 4 on the two DLCs you basically do the same mission three times but from their different perspective, which is a really cool idea. But the, uh, the 3D world doesn't have anything like that that I can think of. Yeah, I wouldn't class like recurring characters as timelines crossing. Like, when you think of timelines crossing, you think of like basically events happening at the same time in both games, and that doesn't happen at any point that I can think of. Oh, I got the cool uh, bug. <laughs> well, not, I don't know if it, it's even a bug, but frame perfect house, anyways. It means that when I take this phone call, the house will just magically get bored. <laughs> Classic bang up. Where the fuck am I? I <laughs> got mega lost for some reason. Yeah, this is like the big oyster collection segment. This like whole river has so many oysters placed in it. And there's really no good time to pick them up. And it conveniently ends right at truck and eight, so not even that bad routing wise. How many tries, guys? How many tries? How many tries? <laughs> Any predictions? Any predictions? It's gonna be a clean first try, I already know. Last oyster here. Then it's on to 
trucking. Okay. Big damage done. Now it's time for half a liter of Red Bull. Like <laughs> any normal healthy individual. Of course. Yeah, I've never drank in like good eight hours. <laughs> so it'd be good to get some water during credit. I'm looking for like a handful of locations, but there's so many locations in Truck and A that you can sit here for hours. But eh, happens. Can't win them all. There you go. Also, you get four stars. For sure, we have a very important donation. Very important, right? We have five dollars from Doctor Seventeen that says, uh. <coughs> Okay. Was that for you or what? That meow? I, I I just read the donation. I don't know what you want me to say. Oh. I respect it. I respect it. Thank you. You know you could have just said meow. You know? <laughs> Why the fuck would I do that? Well, maybe you want us to be really boring. Be serious. Be serious, man. Yeah, when you're mailing, you just have to put your heart and soul into it. Yeah. No yeah. way. No other way. To all y'all fakes out God there, damn. I don't sweat them. Dumb cunts. Media assassin, watch out. Yeah, my scope. Some cold cool. And I got my invisibility cloak on. Fourth right MC here, showing you what hip hop is all really about. On playback FM. When I was five years old, I realized it was a role. At the end, I would win lots of lots of gold. Move. Never made a mistake. It took time to create. It took money to make. To be a billionaire. To start working. Some nights I shed a tears while I sat in my bridge. Been through hard times, even working for our time. Had to keep food stored, sweep the floor sometimes. I was short of the water, taking the next man's orders. Breaking my back with the shack of headquarters. All my manpower, for four bucks an hour. Okay. Took the time and wrote rhymes in the shower. Shoes are scuff, cause the road gets rough. But I'm a rocket, cause my box ain't stuff to know. All the freaks look steep, cause my chest are weak. They were turning up the cheeks, so I started to see a way to get a play. And maybe one day I'll be performing up the for a decent pay, no matter how it seems, I always cast the dream. All the girls scream, and suckers get cream. Dream the body for five years straight. Finally, I got a place to clap the first place. The road ain't yellow, and it ain't no witches. My name is Gucci. I'm on the road to the riches. Fuck off. I used to stand on the block, so I cooked up rock. You almost caught it, like, without even stopping. No. Yeah. Like, if it, like, went around the corner and, like, reattached. That would've been sick. But... That was such luck. Yeah. Alright, that's the trucking asset done. Finally. Alright, now it's off to do ammunition because I forgot to do it earlier. So, quick route deviation, but that's all good. What's life without a little risk, you know? Yeah, exactly. Set over here and really quickly do ammunition. Oh, really quickly is a bit, you know, misleading, but I'll do it. Back with a high velocity rifle that'll... 
Yeah, the challenge in this game is to ju just doing the same three challenges but with four different weapons. Very fun and interesting. And because it's really complicated to understand what you have to do, they give you a really detailed tutorial. What it says is this one you have to shoot the target. Might have to reload. <laughs> Mid board. Yeah, first round you have to shoot three targets back to back to back like that. The second round is exactly the same, except the targets are moving this time. So they only move forwards, so it's not actually that different. The most uh, egregious one of this ammunition thing is the the shotgun, because no matter how good your aim is, you can only shoot as quickly as you can, like you know, cock the shotgun back. Um, so it's actually like quite difficult to actually win some of the rounds, because yeah, you're basically like stuck as you know, yeah. shooting as quick as the other people can, no matter how good your aim is. You just gotta hope that they don't start smurfing on you. And yeah, in normal hundo, obviously you do the strat where you get a combat shotgun instead. But um, yeah, no one misses zero minutes here, so I'm gonna be stuck with the regular old shotgun. Alas, normally it takes about four boards to win the last round. You can obviously do it in three. Didn't get it this time because move two got two. But workers next time whistle back with a high velocity rifle that'll these fellas are as useful as my solo queue teammates uh, paying like one shot in every 20. at least they don't insist on giving you a tutorial every single time yeah I mean, aiming in this game is just not like normal. Like, it's not like playing an actual like shooter game. Aiming is really awful in SA. I'm pretty sure you get weapon skill for doing this, right? Yeah, it gets like maxed out yeah. on the weapons you use. Obviously, it's only for four weapons, but still, something. Yeah. And player one with six. Usually, this is like one of the rounds they suck on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this one is, uh... Yeah, this is where you can actually lose. Shit one. Yeah. Well, not quite yet, but you can lose on the third level. Yeah. It's the one where, like, you're all shooting the same target, basically. Because if, uh, player one and player two decide to, like, split their shots evenly... Yeah. Then you're kind of done, though. Do you think that with the shotgun spread, you'd be able to hit several targets at once? But 
Not the case. Yep, the other guys can. That's the problem. They can hit multiple yeah. targets at once, but you can't. You can only do one. They're preying on our downfall for real. Yeah. The good thing is that they're competing against each other as well. It's not like they have a combined score against you or some shit. Yeah. So you need one of them to pop off if you want to lose on round three. So we'll see if they do it. Check out our grenade launchers. Pop it in. Pull the trigger. And boom! You've blown a hole in something. Sign up today for your ammunition frequent sniper card. Bye. Yeah, you notice there, like, Buffon just hit two in one shot. Very first shot he did. Yep. <laughs> Buff two hit three in one. Last break. Yep. But yeah, Buff two goes kind of crazy on this one for now. We'll see if it keeps going. This is closer than France, England, I'm not, uh, I'm not <laughs> lying. <laughs> this is actually losable still. <laughs> so close. If you guess like a three and one and then just one more, it's doomed. Truly show that you're global. I can't. No, no way. You just cannot aim in this game. It's so difficult. Like I don't know what it is, but something about the way like the crosshair moves in SA is really awful to work with. I mean, it uh, skips pixels, right? That's the issue. Yeah, there's, there's, some, like, there's definitely there's something with it. Calculate it. Yeah. yeah. It's an issue in all three of the games. If you play on like mega low DPI, it like solves the issue, but obviously then you can't like flick nearly as much. So yeah. Yeah, and in this game you mainly want the sense to like actually despawn traffic. You don't really need to aim that much in this game, all things considered. Uh, it's more of a driving game. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason, AK round is one of the other ones that they just kind of aim on. We've got a special on hand grenades, and if you're too fat and lazy to throw them, check. Pop it in, pull the trigger, and boom! You've blown a hole in something. Some yeah, that will. The ammunition done. Yeah, so you can see now uh, he has like akimbo uh, pistols and stuff because he's hitting yeah. man. Which is actually awful, by the way. Akimbo pistols is so terrible to use. Yeah. Like you never want to use the pistols again after you hit hitman. It dog shit. Yeah, because like the uh, usually the pistol is used as like a somewhat like mid-range kind of one-tap weapon because uh, it's like you know. You know it's not. Decent, it like so. does this shit. Yeah. Sprays. You use it as like kind of like a shorter range rifle. Yeah. Um, usually, because obviously, like automatic weapons, they're quite inaccurate when you pull the trigger down. But then the pistol basically just becomes like a machine pistol instead. And yeah, it's, it's just awful. It's one use is gone because you can't use it long range anymore. And you, there's no point in using it short range either because you might as well just use a machine gun. It's yep. just useless. Its only use is removed from the game suddenly. The dust. Do you find your I always found it sad that you never get to use the deagle in um at any point in the game. It's a really cool gun. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. This is it. I'm coming, baby. Play it cool. Who's this guy? Hey, I'm cool. Bro! You sound kinda edgy, Who the fuck are you? I'm cool, okay? <laughs> I swear this doesn't actually happen. This is not part of the mission. 
The fuck? Who are you? Ain't seen you around here. Great. Next stop, the backup generator room. It's down one level. All right, I'm in the generator room. Okay, the ventilation. You gotta throw. It's like gas grenade in the vent. All the guards are sleeping. Okay, good. I've hacked their emergency lighting protocols. I'm going to blow the charges you placed at the dam. Needs to go left. The other guys in. <laughs> wow. Boom! I can't see anything anymore. <laughs> it's so dark. This is such a shame that this mission is optional because it's like yeah. one of the only well made. It is really cool. Missions. Yeah. And you have to go get the forklift. So and you can raise up the gate before reaching the gate, which is kind of useful. So I'm just going to raise up the gate here and uh, done. And yeah, then you have to clear the whole building of annoying ass guards. You actually do have to kill them all. Like part of the mission. Not far now. Keep alert. Hey, I was just about to say that. Sorry, boss. Not far. Apparently, one of these guys had like satchels on him, so you can just pick those up. Go back up. The generator. Place a satchel. I need to kill the generators a bit later. And then wait. It's like Woozy is really, really slow at getting down to the vault. Doesn't know about the sliding glitch, alas. <laughs> okay, we'll set the charges while you watch the door. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Go on. Uncap. Okay. Get a bunch of lions here. Oh. Then if you just wait a few seconds um, and blow up the satchel, you don't have to go back up there. Quite nice. You have to wait though. If you blow them up instantly, it's not gonna work. Where do I go? For whatever reason. Okay, people, load up the cash. Carl, you've got mafia gorillas coming to the vault, and curse you, Bert. Curse you. Curse you. I like how the janitor from the casino is like with you on this heist. That's one of my favorite things about yeah. it. He doesn't get paid enough to resist. Yeah. Uh, like, okay. Oh, the There's like a cutscene where he like finds out your plans and some shit while you're like planning in like the back room in the casino, and he like comes in there, figures it out, and then you see him on the fucking mission. Kind of funny. I like it. Yeah, then you have to fight your way out again and do the exact same thing. Fuck! Scratch that! Everybody follow Carl! Guards have like slightly different positions, but that's it. Everyone escapes. I've unloaded and then you have to spikes. go back. <laughs> it's really not that cool when you think about it, this mission, but it's one of the cooler ones in the game. Okay, DJ, you're on your own now. You don't actually have to kill the guards this time. You can't just. Also, like the like the gameplay loop isn't super good, but like the actual story and like the dialogue yeah. and stuff is quite funny. Um, like the whole like Zero versus Berkeley thing, and then there's also like this this group that has been like super put together from now on. Like when they do the heist, they end up just like just letting you deal with it because they actually have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. And it's like just like yeah. It's, yeah uh, you're the only one that has to escape through the roof. Some reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But yeah, this is pretty cool, you know, like the action scene here, running across the rooftop, helicopter flying above you, shooting at you, like you, you can just imagine the cool music playing in the background. You pick up the parachute, jump off the roof, parachute off to safety. It's like straight out of a movie. Cool thing is that if you use the parachute, you can't actually get the helicopter. But if you don't use the parachute, you can make it comfortably. Yeah, so this mission gives you like a weird effect 
But you can carry this over to other missions if you want, but or like the normal gameplay if you care to. Put on the light, put on the light. What do you what even is the button for the light? Oh it's not F. <laughs> is that just fire or something? <laughs> Dude, I was trying to find the button for the light. Oh my god man, what is wrong with you? <laughs> No, I wanted the helicopter again. Oh, I, now I can't get up to the Emerald Isle and pick up the last horseshoe. Okay, that's fine. I have to get that later now. It's actually really annoying. Fine. What is the button for the fucking light? I think it's just fire. Sure. Fire? Oh. I love how this guy just gets in a flying vehicle and he thinks Seth just does whatever he wants him to do. Like, <laughs> he does a different thing for every single flying Dude, vehicle. Dude, I was just thinking, like, I was thinking light and I was thinking of, like, Half Life because I've been playing Half Life and then the Half Life you press F to turn on the flashlight. It's like, oh, it's yeah. <laughs> You know, it's, there's no logic to it, but that's just what, that's what went, went through my head. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it makes sense, but that's went through my head. Press F to turn on the flashlight. It makes sense. Right. Zero, will you hide? I didn't mean to tell Berkeley. It just kind of came out. Is all. We are watching you, idiot. Hey, CJ, calm down. You better take me home, CJ. Hey, yeah, this is a little bit annoying because I actually. I do need to get a. Playing somewhere. I guess I just pick it up with a hide, bro. Yeah, I'm just gonna fuck it. I'll do it on the, after vertical bird. Should be the easiest way to get it. Yeah, the highest one is 100k. It's actually terrible. I feel like I should give a million. Are you give a million for like. Doing all the races, even, but only 100k for the highest. A bit sad. More line skipping here. Which also means these guys will just Wait up! jump through the plane. stats i don't think you can do this jump right maybe you can actually with fps i don't remember what i what the conclusion was i think the conclusion was you can't even do it with fps i don't remember i was testing this shit and i already forgot the results of the testing Yeah, the gimmick has always been that you don't have the right stats to actually do that jump because you're like too fat or you're too muscly or whatever. You don't get the same jump height. Because you are pretty muscly by this point, like 60% almost. Get to slide through this building. This, this chase is a little bit goofy when you slide because it feels like you're kind of catching him, but you obviously can't.
Yeah, you meant to chase this guy, but of course you can just kill him on the way out. And then RTLS. Woo! Starting with vertical third. Wow. Which starts with picking up oysters even more. Pink and white, my favorite colors. Who's with me? And <laughs> Bobby goes into jail. Who's with me? <laughs> This is a good time to get the oyster that's in the military base because you don't actually get any stars for picking it up. Last oyster here, right beneath the boat. Come on. All right. A vertical boat. You meant to like fight a few guys to make it through. Um, usually you can just sprint past them all. They don't really bother you very much. And yeah, steal the Hydra. You see, you see what I tell you with a snap. Now this shit is kind of random. But there's like 150,000 placebos for how to get these guys to crash into the bridge. Mine works though. Um, did one actually not crash? Oh, no, mine. mine doesn't work clearly. <laughs> oh, he did crash. What? My placebo is what? Shut up, Torino! When you want this thing? What thing? I don't know what you're talking about. You stole it. Got nothing to do with me. I don't know what you're talking about. See you around. Torino! Torino! Shit! And yeah, here you have to land on the airstrip and then roll it into this hangar, but you can just like park around here and it does both at the same time. And now it's about to pick up that cursed fucking horseshoe. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, press F in the Hydra, I might pick it up. <laughs> Hold on. Horseshoe? Am I in the wrong building? Where is it? Wait. <laughs> Hello? This is the right building, right? I'm not like trolling, no. Obviously not. Yeah, but it should be, right? Did I park on it? Nah, I know where this horseshoe is. It's here. And I know I haven't picked it up yet. Because I jumped out of my fucking helicopter. You speak? It's sometimes invisible. Well, not in my fucking life, it's not. 
It's not invisible, Caster. I know where it is. And it's not there. I'm running over to the spot right now. Oh. Never mind. I'm not running over the oh. spot. It was just in my plane. I just saw it on the other side. <laughs> not bad. All right, we take it, we take it. I swear to God that it's usually more on the edge, but I guess I'm just wrong. Happens. I like how Costa said it's sometimes invisible. <laughs> The fuck? There's no way it's just invisible randomly. You fools have the lyrics memorized. You hear me? That's what they should be teaching in school instead of all this nonsense about evolution. We came from the stars. Okay. Time to buy a few houses. Me after my World Cup parlay cashes in. Next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Have you actually done any parlays? Hell no, I'm Hell no. too much down on <laughs> Yeah, same. I'm done as well. Yeah, same. It's doomed. This World Cup is just doomed. <laughs> Morocco killed me. Yeah, Morocco ruined my my life as well. I actually had the whole the whole parlay for the Hope round of sixteen. Got it. Yeah. From, yeah. <laughs> When Morocco beat Spain, that just fucked it all for me. Being Morocco, yeah, I actually I didn't mind that one. I had that one. <laughs> but I didn't I didn't believe they could beat Spain. Like, as soon as as soon as Croatia won, I was like, all right, yes, yes, we got it. Got yeah, it. after Croatia, yeah, I just knew it was in. But nope. Apparently not. No such luck. No such fucking luck. I'm happy Morocco are through the Morocco are fun as fuck. I love it. Fellas have so much energy. Great. I think citizens in Paris and Brussels would like a word with you, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's alright. Can't wait for the Croatia Morocco finals, of course. Oh, wait, wait, are they playing? Are they playing in the next match? They're not, right? Who's playing Croatia? Is it Argentina? What? Good one. Eight. Good one. Right. What did they blow up on? Even must. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just another day in SA, watching the death tutorial cutscene at the end of the game. Suffering from success. <laughs> Brilliant. This is the hospital. This is where you go when you die. Yeah, thank you. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I think it hit a lamppost or some shit. Classic. Hits a lamppost, instantly blows up. Hydra things. Rip estimate? Nah, it's fine. Jolly. Fillers. Depends how many times you're gonna mess up the sunrise race. Because I actually have to take the fucking Vincent. Don't fail 8-track. Yeah, I just need to like not fail too much in... 
In RTLS, and I'm good on estimate probably. Probably gonna be tight either way though. Nothing like making it a bit tight with the estimate. Always good fun. I feel like I do that every marathon. I always find a way. Yeah, this one that actually is a run at the end, so I do actually have to like at least you know try to make it estimate. I'll be fine. It's set 430 for a reason to allow for me to do whatever the fuck I want. Shit's all fucked up now, dude. Yeah. What you want? It ain't around here no more. Just take me to mama's house. Reset would have had 11.30 estimate, I wanna say. 11.30? <laughs> Fucking, I feel Vincent, man. <laughs> Unreal shit car. Move! The beginning of the end. God bless. <laughs> yes, this... less, we get to do the same mission four times. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, so first of all, you start the gang war and you have to kill these dealers while you're doing the gang war. Pretty straightforward stuff, honestly. Kill the first wave. Go find some more dealers to kill. That's all you got? Like one here. Here. Somewhere in the back. Don't know where he went, the last guy, but that's fine. Give me that. Take the tag. There he is. I need some more spray can ammo. We're gonna take one can, save two times. Take another can. You wanna say something? You wanna say something? Alright, beat down and beat up. What were you thinking back there, bro? I'm tired, man. Real tired. I'm tired of putting in the work. And still shit don't get better. I'm tired of seeing my family fall apart. Sweet man, you got more heart than that. Sure things are screwed. There's a couple of tags to take on this mission and an oyster, but otherwise it's just Fuck it, I'm standard dead. issue. Coming too long. Be down and beat up. Yeah, let's roll. Okay, it's fine. But yeah, thankfully baller spawns. I'm not hard to get ballers to spawn this particular area. Throw some of these on the bridge. Move, move. Okay. Do the first wave here. Move the bike over yonder and then Theory you wouldn't spawn this wave incorrectly, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, don't keep up. And good stuff. 
If you get unlucky, this ambulance can just come and kill Sweet, but... It doesn't usually happen, in theory. It was pretty close, though. I feel like I heard it pretty close. BMX challenge finally. Gonna be done. This is where you get to use the really high bunny hop trick. Where if you jump and shoot your SMG at the same time, or like almost the same time, not quite synced up, but yeah, you can jump really high. You need it for like, you don't need it, but it's useful, I would say, for one of the Coronas you need to pick up. And most of them you can just grab. It's pretty simple biking, but this one, useful if you can just do the jump, yeah. It is kind of precise though, so it might take me a few attempts, but worth going for it. There you go. And the quick house. And gang territories part one. Woo! Always amazing and fun. So look for some ballers around here somewhere. Thank you. You ain't got no crap. Yeah, this is about doing like two waves of the territory and then activating vigilante and then using the third wave to basically start the next territory. Pretty simple concept. That's two waves done. And as soon as the third wave spawns, you can just activate that another territory. So And then move on to the next turn for It's gonna be this one. Yeah, minigun is makes it super super easy. Especially when you don't even need to worry about wasting ammo, you can just hold down left click and wait till you win. Hey, okay. two waves. Starting this mission is just gonna cancel it automatically. We gonna roll in the baller's hood and take it back for the grow. Okay, let's get those motherfuckers. Yeah, this mission is surprise, surprise, also about doing gang territories. Would you believe it?
but this time I actually get to take a few tags during it, including but not limited to this one. Hit him hard, CJ. And after that tag, you can just start this gang war. Pick up this tag while you wait for the first wave to spawn. It'll spawn like behind me, like that. Take this shit up here. Second wave. Take another tag. And then come back to the bike for the third wave. And then just drive back to Grove Street and take a territory on the way. Let's go. Who ride on these balls? Yeah, real quick tag back here. Start a gang war with these guys. Another tag. Oh. Go on the next wave. Close to the grove, do another wave. That is very, very tough time, stereo. Very tough time. That is. And yeah, go here for the last wave. We did it, CJ. Let's bail back to Grove. <laughs> Conveniently, already back at Grove Street. Amazing. Yeah. And now it's time to go and do a track real quick. Why you still have the cop bike? This segment is just packed with fun stuff. <laughs> nah, HR has to be the worst thing, right? Even worse than gang turtles, I mean. This shit is so boring. Yeah, it's so boring. They actually changed it in the remaster. Yeah. They changed all these, like, ones with laps. They're, like, they half the laps, right? Or some shit, or, like, two thirds or whatever. Positive change. The problem is it's boring, but you also have to focus, because otherwise you will just destroy your car and lose. So. It's awful in all the wrong ways. Like, you never get any peace in this race, because as soon as you take first, which I'll do right now, in like one lap, I'll immediately lap the 12th guy, and I'll be back to doing this shit again, fighting my way through. I mean, DE just stole it from like the mobile remaster, right? Where they reduced all the laps in all the races. Yep, here he is, number 12. Yeah, you get to let these guys a few times.
NMG Hundo is like a retirement home, basically. Oh, that's DE Hundo. Oh yeah, that's the real. That's like beyond, that's like death, that's like post fucking death. This DE Hundo. This is just retirement. The only reason I'm running this is because I can't be fucked anymore. I actually care yeah. about speedrunning. I think at this point nobody runs SA Hundo like. No one runs anything uh, anymore, man. No, but like for for Hundo especially, we have yeah. people running old strats, but yeah, no one's actually trying. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, there's number twelve again. He's back at it. Still going hard. And he's probably gonna be fucking annoying here, yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean, why on earth you'd ever do a blind run, I don't know. <laughs> of all the things to do, don't do a blind fucking run of anything. That might as well just be a casual playthrough at that point. You might as well have fun instead of like doing a blind run in my opinion, right? Like just play, watch the cutscenes, enjoy it, instead of pretending to do a speedrun. Especially what blind runs are. Just just pretend speedruns. Blind runs more than normal runs. That might be a, one of the problems. <laughs> right. <laughs>
Yeah, this is another one that's a little bit awkward. You don't really have time to get the stag before the wave spawns. You can try though. You can get pretty close. This one is probably the worst to take, honestly. Here is another tag. This one is also pretty simple. Wait, is this the last wave? Am I like miscounting in my head? I think I I might have miscounted and that was only the first wave. But I'll be fine. I'll find out later if I fucked up counting the waves. There's a lot of really, really small gang territories here. And if you don't really, if you don't do this strat, it's actually really hard to get, like, start these gang wars. You just can't really get Vargas to spawn in a small area very easily, at least. And last territory. I feel like gang territories could have been really interesting, but just like with so many things in a site, they just made it such a chore to do. 
like yeah was it really? yeah they really they really didn't flesh it out very well did they like like put some objectives down or something it doesn't really beat rampages i feel like rampages are always more fun than gang territories Anyways, that's all the territories you need. Now, just popping over to buy this house. Swiftly. Could have had a dance off. I like it. Yeah, you want to just jump over this fence. And start. Not for business. Be done. The business. Let's drop in on OG Low. See if we can't interrupt that video shooting with Cooper Roar. We're flying in style, baby. You got all the makers of a great man as your car. Saving till we spin a low floor. Tell me how a fake buster phony like suck ass low can make it in a rap game, DJ. Music bit changed. Yeah, this is dealing with uh Mr. OG Loke, of course. And the only way to do that is, of course, to stop him in the middle of a shoot in Badlands. Driving a BF injection. Because clearly, that's what needs to be done. Only the genuine articles can shake down the house. DJ, my man. You're a nasty manager. It's time to get some. I think you know. Warming up, Kane. Warming up, Kane. They can just jump in here, trigger the cutscene. You fucking fuck Do a quick vortex chase. Maybe I'll join. If collectibles weren't in consideration, of course you wouldn't need to actually race the vortex. You could just take the news van. But there's a convenient oyster on the way, so might want to get that. Is not a bathroom. Oh, I thought we were friends. Oh, not my shoes. Renegade. The renegade man goes where he wants for the smell of an individual. Get yesterday's news. It's renegade. Or instead of renegade, try sweat. The cologne for the Just want low. side. L O C. It's real sweat because nothing attracts women like a sweaty man. I'm the Godfather. I'm the Godfather. I'm the Godfather. Every time the song plays, I can't help but think of all the police. Come on, y'all. Just <laughs> he'll just be randomly in call and just goes, I'm the god fucking guy. Whatever way the number other the butt, cause I'm the god father. I'm the god father. I call silly young ladies too, just chill. They never say no to me. Always say that they will do whatever I want them to. When I confront them to watch where you're walking, or you just might bump. It's like nobody, me during my 4 p.m. meeting at work. I'm gonna smoke <laughs> weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> no time to be jealous. Man, go in. Everyone stay and shake my butt for you, honey. Cause I'm a rockin', I'm a non stopping MC baby who loves thing of popping. Man, dog, you a drunk ass bucket. And leave, you're gonna miss me. I'm just a brother, so what's up, sis? Cause it's the pretty young ladies that make me talk. The like kids, this. they don't want you no more. Yeah, this auto scroll just has a few tags as well. He does actually rub a band a bit as well, but. It's not enough to warrant, like, um, a beam behind him. Like, you can, it's not the best rubber banding, as you can tell. Um, Also, it's one of the few times you actually drive through this area of the map in LS. This and Snail Trail is basically it for this region, so... Now is the time to take tags in this region, basically. Now is your chance.
And yeah, run up here to finish the mission. That puts you out here, conveniently next to this tank. And you'd obviously prefer a bike here, but Super GT will have to do. No, I mean, yeah, okay. yeah, just loads of bikes all of a sudden. Brilliant. It's fine, I'm sure this can make the climb. Coolest. That's actually better than I expected. Yeah, time for Riot. Which might as well just be a cutscene mission, honestly, if you ask me. The mission is just a drive. Yeah, you know, with such uh, crazy objectives that you'd expect to see in the end games, such as drive to Grove Street, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> but honestly, it's the most unique mission in the end game. The only one that isn't yes. anything to do with gang territories, you know? It's it's absolutely incredible that this is the best mission <laughs> in RTS. Yeah. And it has the penis jokes. Yeah. Oh yeah, hilarious. And it has the uh, the random insta-kill mechanics because of the riot mode. Yeah. Where any car can just blow yeah, up next like, to you and there's nothing loads of bikes just blowing up next to you. It's awesome. It's such a well-made mechanic. Quit it. Work the worms? Enough, man. Like Sweet goes through all those different like masturbating uh, like synonyms, and he doesn't come up with the best one, which is jerking the gherkin. Exactly. <laughs> Back in a bit on it, if you ask me. I'm gonna check out yeah. the city and see what I can see. You be read a book, Sweet. You fucking loser. Okay, of course. There is no epic GT skip setup. It's just. Straight into Lost Desperados. I don't know if they could do a better way to showcase the riot feature than this mission. He died? The mission isn't. What? Bro is so squishy, man. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, it's nothing to do with the mission, Momo. It's the mechanic that needs to be fucking axed and rewritten. Yeah. The mission is absolutely fine. It's the mechanic itself that is a complete piece of shit. Wait why are you not duping this? Oh my god, why not duping? Bro, stupid. I like a woman I can bounce up and down on. who attends sci-fi Ain't shit. Northside Yeah, Las Verona is just a classic run through and kill stuff. <laughs> this mission is actually not that bad. All things considered, RTLS wise, not the worst. Stay close! At this point, you're just gagging for something unique. So <laughs> when you get it, you're like, yes, yes. You don't look like you need this no more. Hazer. I mean, LDEX2 is actually probably one of the easiest strats, honestly. Just annoying that you have to deal with the luck, of course. All right, that's the last of them. How is Hazer? We need to get him to a. Project Doofing, return to classic. This is what I've been saying. More than enough, Holmes. You should get back to the Grove. All right, SA. I'll see you after all this is settled down. Thanks, CJ. Good luck, my friend. Tonight's the 
night like Betty Wright, and I'm chilling, killing, feeling no remorse. Yeah. So let's go straight to the motherfucking source and see what we can. You're mine, pal. Me on they team to chill with me and make my pockets big. They wanna meet with me tonight at seven. Oh, what's up, fella? For 100 graffitis, you get some guns in Grove Street. And respect, I think, maybe? I don't know. Nothing good, anyways. Quick gym sesh. Yo. I don't know, like, guns are pretty nice for, like, casual players, I, yeah. I think. I'm a man of peace. Not bad. I think all the collectibles do that, no? Like, uh, snapshots and oysters or something. Yeah, they all like, get guns shoots. in their respective, like, hubs, basically. Yo, charge in and batter your opponent. Make sure your opponent is down and out. Never give your opponent time to recover. Yeah, oysters up. Oysters don't really have a hub. They're all across the map, aren't they? I actually need to take the phone calls here. I can somehow just completely forgot about that. Yeah, RTLS, like, there's like four or five different calls or something. Yeah. You don't have to take any of them. But then the one to unlock the final mission, you do. Yeah, so you have to. I have to breach for like two calls here, I think. Maybe it's just one, I don't remember how many I've taken already. Yeah, I just need one more. Good stuff. Hey, what's going on? What's up? Yo! Hey, if you don't need it no more. Hey, you getting fresh with me, punk? Hey, this shit. Nice. Hey, end of the line. Check it out. We got I just blocked my passageway out of here. This was really smart. Sure. Can I have to squeeze through? Yeah, right on the edge of the I think I can. Come on. Uh, easy. Sub 12. It's gonna be about a 12, 20 something, most likely. Now when I'm about to play a record like this one, it's only on Radio Los Santos. Hopefully, sub-estimate. I'm cutting it a bit close, yeah, I think. there's still quite a bit of stuff to do. As long as uh, Sunrise Race doesn't go nuts. It's definitely going to be close to estimate. But, you know, about the, what, you, what you should hope for, really. Hey, we're afraid you have LS races. Yeah, three to less races and then another chase, obviously. The security. Next stuff. One day I'll. One day I'll slide. Slide into her DMs. Exactly. This room is probably the worst. You can actually really easily die in here because everyone has M4s. So yeah, gotta be a bit careful. Even with like a billion HP, M4s do just melt you. Next 
<laughs> yeah, free deep railing can happen in theory, but it's only if you aren't focused, obviously. Like, which is extremely easy because freight is the most boring shit ever. Freight, I'm pretty sure. No, you have to go to, for the funny number. You have to hit 69. Oh yeah, I never actually do it anymore. On high FPS, for some reason, it's it's too risky to go for 69. I only do 68 on high FPS. <laughs> Epic boss fight time. You motherfucking. Hey, I'm and do the exact same fight, just going downwards. Brilliant content. Yeah, this room can kill you as well if you go too slow, so it's all about just going as fast as you can so they can't hit you really. And yeah. Oh, it's pretty simple stuff. Good stuff. Rambo cutscene, so cool, guys. <laughs> Ten penny, you motherfucking piece of shit. I ain't letting you get away. And now a bit of light. Wait, no. shot chasing. Part one. Up and down, sideways. Anywhere I can be rude to you, but I'll rap and be true to you and eat up. Toy ducks, I beat up. I am the up in your brains, I want to heat up. Mega, supersonic degrees. I come around roasting MCs with fire to burn the toy liar. Raw meat, turn the flame higher. Raw meat, turn the flame higher. Oh, shit. I took it right, correctly to the top. With the rhythm and that. Man, I want the steak now. <laughs> Too bad beef is so expensive these days. God damn. Yeah. At least in this country, beef has gone off the fucking charts. It's crazy, you know. Chops or big. Stuttering, uttering. Me personally, as an empath and a vegan, the only thing <laughs> I like is the one that train legs get sponsored by. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. Yeah, this mission spawns in a train. Just a single, like, freight engine. Perfect train for doing freight missions. I mean, it only takes 15 minutes. Would you believe it? 
No, you failed the mission. No, yeah, awesome. Oh my god, he's so bad at this game. Lol, noob, fail mission. Okay. Good original yeah, yeah. human. It was way funnier like three years ago. No, it wasn't. Uh, I think <laughs> maybe maybe seven years ago. <laughs> And that's probably because most of us were like 12. So. Tech behind? I am a tech behind, Jack. You are correct. Nothing gets past you, eh? Yeah, the rule for freight is... Um, if you're in a derail zone, which is basically sharp turns, don't go above 50 in the Vitesse you can see on the right. When you are not in a derail zone, go as fast as you want. And then do 15 minutes and it's really boring. Yeah, and there's no radio either. It's a, it's pretty much the worst possible game mode. Can you, can you sing for us? Uh, see, it'd be easier to sing if I had some fucking music, you know, some karaoke type shit, but yeah. <laughs> Here you can just go high speed, slow down a bit for this turn so you don't derail. Great. You stop perfectly in the marker. Uh, almost perfectly in the marker. Get auto in. I mean, it's not not exactly my choice, is it? <laughs> Brothers had the invite, but this is up to him. Yeah, the funny thing is there's like six people in this call and nobody is talking. Dude, it's a long day, man. Give him a break. What's special about this train? It doesn't have any like extra carriages, so it's the fastest. That's it. Nothing else is special about it. few places on the where you can get up to 70 almost but like back in the day they could get away with anything they want like back in the 50s who's gonna like Who's got the recordings of how fast you were going in the train and stuff like that? Like, no, you can't do that anymore. Everything's just <laughs> tracked, unfortunately. Yeah, sad. You go above 65 and it's GG. This next one has like a long straight start. You can just you can build up decent speed here. I think you've got almost 60 actually before you just slow down. Yeah. And it's a bit of a sharp turn here. You just have to pass. And you can start firing up again. This, this is right before the tunnel is a derail zone. So. Avoid that. And then this bridge can go really fucking fast. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I did it here even though it's technically slower because now I have to like reverse at the end, but at least you can't derail. 
Now all the people can be happy because they saw 69 on the screen. Awesome stuff. But yeah, actually not worth it. For the fans, for the fans. Like, normally you'd be able to get 69 here, but for whatever reason, with high FPS, it just doesn't quite feel comfy to go for 69 speed as it would do on capped. Yeah, this train is from uh, the end of the line mission. Spawns in specifically, and then you can fail the mission and take it and do freight quite quick. Yeah, you'll see here, I'll get almost 69, but it's really like, it's a bit uncomfortable to go for 69 here. How much this train saves? I have no idea. I've never done freight with a normal shitbox train. Must pay attention just reading the chat, just blasting through the station. Classic. Yeah, this shit is like too fucking boring. Pay attention to it all the time. All good. And yeah, in case you missed some key detail of Freight, I'm gonna do another level of exactly the same shit, once again. Just for the people that feel like they missed something. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, welcome. Yo, welcome. Woke up. You woke up? Oh, nice. Oh, you have a good uh, just... afternoon nap? Fuck. This shit is tough with that Red Bull in the morning, you know? You just straight <laughs> fell asleep again, like... Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> This is the second time you woke up, and it's still not morning. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't even know, man. I just know that I need to get the Red Bull still because I don't want to fucking fall asleep again. What? Uh, do, you ne do you never get oh, rested after asleep? sleeping? Like, what? How, how does sleep work for you? Uh, I don't you know at this point. Like, you, I just think... Like, you don't, like, sleep a period of time and then, like, feel rested and... Not have to sleep again? No, I Before, like, a period of time has passed? I just have to, I just have to sleep again. <laughs> the right, then. If, I, if I don't get out of the loop, I have, like, a spike of energy after I wake up, and then everything is gone. Like, I'm fucking back to... Oh, I need... Okay, so anyways. Um... I'll do something, and then... A bit later, I'll go and buy a kebab with the Red Bull, <laughs> so I have something to do and well, fall asleep. Good plan, good plan. It's legit genius. Wait, did I already eat? I, I <laughs> did eat it, but okay. You, you did have the pasta, yeah. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, right, 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 wild right. pasta, pasta, yeah. So was delicious. Quite exquisite, if you ask me. How far in the run are you? 
Uh, about 12 hours. Wait, really? What? Yeah, just cleaning up the end at the moment, yeah. Wait, how fucking long did I fucking sleep? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Nah, you slept a long time. Damn. Yeah. Wow. I thought we were like seven hours max here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, you joined the call at seven hours. Did I? I mean, nah, you joined, he joined the call at like five hours to be fair to him. Dude, I can't even, I don't have concepts of time in my who? head anymore. He joined after me. He joined at the same I, time, yeah. it was like six and a half hours in. Oh really? Okay, oh, I, I just missed Rimmy then, my bad. Yeah. I just remember the only number that I remember on the time I seeing was like a seven. <laughs> I, I don't think I You thought it was eight. still seven? <laughs> I thought, no, I thought like, maybe... That's a good 12 <laughs> minutes, yep. Dude, the map Loki didn't feel longer than like an hour max, maybe. It was a super chill 5 hour nap, of course. All the classic. Mm. Not that dumb. Yeah, I am that dumb. Unfortunately, I have not had a, anything to drink for the past um, hours or so. Ah, oh, that's really? pretty good because then you don't have to go to the toilet as well. Yeah, it, I mean that is true. Like <laughs> they do, they do go hand in hand, don't they? Those two somehow. Um, the amount of hundred runs I've actually done without eating or drinking anything for the whole duration Dude, is insane. Dude, they show me a Red Bull ad. It's so fucking disturbing. <laughs> these companies, like, they know. how can you have they this? Know. How like, how can you be this heartless? Like, they just fucking <laughs> show me. They're preying on the weak. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> Already picked up my Red Bull for the day. Yeah, right. Half a liter one. Ah. Um. It was delicious. I'm getting two. I'm getting two. For uh, sure, for sure. What, half fuck, one? fuck the prize. Fuck you have to get prize. one per, per nap you've taken the day, that's the rule. I'm too regular, they don't have the uh, big ones at the kebab store. Are you back on the Red Bull diet or what? Mm, I guess um <laughs> I mean, I have a few diets behind. Oh, yeah, that's true. He did have some. He did have the weird period where he was going on about a new diet every week. Okay, See, what so I'm gonna do is weird. one week of only meat, and the next week only vegetables. Yes. <laughs> this guy ordered a Big Mac. One month later anything. is one month later is like, yeah, I'm yes. gonna have a cigarette and a Red Bull. <laughs> I mean, man, we I mean, probably yeah, have it's... like, we still have the video where he's like deconstructing the burger, right? I mean, that yeah, I, that video is uh, that video is documented. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's weird to be honest, but I mean, let's not have that discussion. Ah, uh, we've had that already. Is it? Doesn't doesn't. You mean the video in in Budapest? Yeah, yeah. I took a video of you deconstructing the burger, like a fucking moron. With Berg? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the whole thing was only weird because I. Because I ordered online at the place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the real weird thing. So yeah, oh my God, we I went about to this that. restaurant and everyone ordered, and I had this coupon code on my online app where I could order food, and the restaurant was able to like pick up uh, the delivery, like you can pick it up at the restaurant. So I just ordered online, but ate at the restaurant. What's so weird about that? I've never that? seen anything weirder because we all Not sat down at the table, room, we way. all ordered. And this guy's like, nah, I'm only having a drink. I've already got food. <laughs> this this waiter just looked confused as shit. Like, what the fuck do you mean? But she it accepts so it. And then they have okay. the order afterwards, and then he stands up from the table where he's got a drink order. It's like, oh yeah, that's for me. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> not a human thing to do, by the way. Fuck sake. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Well. 
You say that about a lot of things, so. Hey, yeah, oh, no, great, it's almost done. Would you believe it? You know what? Primal diets are pretty fucking good, though. Primal diets? They yeah. are, yeah. What the fuck is that? Eating raw meat. Raw meat, yeah. Oh. Just, just raw meat. Just raw meat. Yep. That's all you eat. What about like fresh berries from the forest? Isn't that like oh. primal as well? How does that shit work? No, that's just not. That, that's <laughs> not how it works. I just don't waste the time, honestly. There's nothing in berries really that you need. <laughs> well, I'm saying honestly. But in the Red Bull and cigarettes, that's where all the nutrients are found. Nah, they're stimulants. <laughs> they're stimulants. It's something different. So these are drugs. This is not food. It's true. Hold that bottle down! Fuck man, I want to... want to go, but like... Can I somehow... Nah, shit sure is going to be bad. <laughs> Freak for love. How long is this on? 20 minutes? Off the run? 25 minutes left, yeah. To be honest, like people say one boring segment to another, but like I'm pretty sure we talk about this every single marathon, and it's like yeah, like the whole game is really the whole game is boring. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned yeah. this so many yeah, times. Yeah. Every time I run this game, but somehow it still ends up being like one of like the people's favorite categories to watch. I don't know why. I think people, it's you're always on. People love it, man. No, but it's not about me. It's about the category, man. Historically, it's always been a massive like no, not you, viewer category. Like, the streamer, like oh yeah, 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 having something they can come back to, like yeah, that's you do some work. It's just because it's long, I guess. It's not actually exciting. It's just long. Yeah, that's probably most like the reason it's very popular. Some people watch the Joe Rogan podcast <laughs> in the background, and others just watch Hondo in the background. No shame. I get that, like, I don't usually put anything on in the background while I'm doing things, but I get, like, why you would do it. I mean, if I work, I definitely put on some Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're working, I mean, at that point, yeah, you kind of have to, right? You're doing literally the most boring work imaginable. Like, no, nah, it's pretty exciting, actually, yeah, man. <laughs> it's not getting right. Honestly, driving my bike around town and delivering shit is just, oh. <laughs> it's quite Really exciting. gets me going, man. <laughs> Middle of the winter, just enjoying my life. So what do you do when you're working? Do you just sit there like an NPC? What do you mean NPC? Not you. I mean like crucial. Me? Like for work. Yeah. Like. Well, oh, you mean like when I'm doing like uni work? Yeah. I just work on it. Yeah. I'm focused on the work. What? That is Fucking actually way more crazy. efficient. Nah, that, that is actually crazy. You're... Wow. Actual uh, fucking you're telling me you're not doing anything else. You're Nothing just else. Doing like... I'm just doing the work. You're wasting so much time. <laughs> no, I'm not. For? I'm way more efficient. What do you mean? But I could do... I could if, like, you, if I put on a podcast while I'm doing that, yeah. I'm doing neither, man. I'm not doing the work and I'm also not paying attention to the podcast. It's like a lose-lose. Mm. Not really, no. I'm paying... No, I don't believe it. Yeah, because your job takes no fucking mental energy, man. It does, it does, yeah. It doesn't. Dude, you know how hard it you is? You drive a bike with your legs, that's it. 
Okay, so first of all, it's winter. <laughs> it's fucking disturbing to other on the streets. I'm in the middle of the town, and I have to fucking do like some crazy maneuver every fucking five minutes to not die. This shit is little. This shit is underpaid. This shit it should get double the paid because I'm taking my fucking like it's a risk. Yeah, I fucking risking my life for this shit. Do you know That's how much shit I just got a, into? That is such a bollocks argument. It's like saying, oh, I have to cross the street on the way to work. So yeah. Be paid double because I might get killed on on the way to work. Yeah. Dude, honestly, honestly, if you have to cross the street where you have a 99% chance of dying, yes, your fucking race should be. You, you fucking really think that it's should be raised. Off, you have a 99% chance of I'm death. making up a fucking. Okay, so. <laughs> you're an exaggeration. Oh, you're, so, like. you're so good at this, making up random shit. <laughs> no, I'm. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. Dude, you I should know, be paid. It is ridiculous. I agree. <laughs> You don't think like um you don't think like construction workers uh like back in the seventies weren't like paid for a random profession, random year. <laughs> Dude, have you seen what these guys did in the 70s? They had like no security on construction sites and they were just like in the air and just on like yeah. And they were yeah. paid, they were compensated for it then. Dangerous environments yes. and stuff. We still do it exactly. to this day, obviously. But it pays more. Being... Because okay. you're a delivery okay. driver, you cunt! No delivery drivers yeah. ever die! It's winter! It's <laughs> winter! Really yeah, it's cold! Like Put on a jacket! Like, what do you want? <laughs> Dude, there's so much <laughs> shit that can happen. <laughs> You deliver food on a bike, man. There's not so much shit that can happen. Like, <laughs> mate, I'm in risk of my life at <laughs> least five times an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad know, you're man. back. Oh, oh, you don't even know, man. Apparently, I don't. I should put a fucking body cam on me and do a fucking stream, and then I fucking show you. <laughs> yeah, you should. You really should. I would pay to watch that. This guy probably shows up to a customer with like the wrong fucking groceries and be like, No, but this is unironically better, you don't fuck. Like, you should have this instead. Trust me. He's like driving into oncoming traffic and he's like, oh, my, my life is in danger. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, like, I don't know, it's pretty hard. Sometimes, because I only have like a, I can't really, I don't have a lot of vision because I have like a mask on because it's so fucking cold. I basically can't turn my fucking head to the left or to the right. I can just look straight. I have fucking Joe Rogan podcast blasting my ears. I don't hear the fucking traffic. He just like blindfolds himself and puts on headphones. Joe Rogan is like, yeah, guys, this is all because of my profession. My, my life is in danger because of my podcast, which is too loud. <laughs> I'm not required to do it for my job. I choose to do it for no reason. What are they expecting me to eight eight hours of not doing anything and just lo looking at the road? I thought you said it was really like exciting. I thought you said it was exciting, man. What do you mean? What happened to the excitement? It's exciting with the podcast. Ah, so the podcast is exciting, not your actual fucking job. Yeah, great. No, it's a combination. It's the combination, yeah. Dude, it's like it's like when you listen to music and you're in your car and you watch you you go down the fucking Route 66 at sunset. Yeah, man, it's a, it both works together. You need the music and you need the driving. Great. Anyway, guys, we have uh, fifty dollars from another okay. thing for the children. Thank you, anonymous. We are now at eighteen hundred dollars. Nah, this is too good. God. 2K is Go around the corner, fellas. Down. But, you know, the marathon ends soon, so 2K, you can do it, I believe. I have faith. Happen, I, I have faith in it, honestly. We still have that giveaway to do for the stream deck as well. I guess we'll probably do it like in, in the intermission before guys run, I guess. Wait, how can I win? <laughs> you look fucking right. No, how do I end? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> What's the end of this? Find out. What is the giveaway even? Like, I, I haven't heard uh, about this. It's Has it been announced? Stream Deck Mark Two. Oh, it's sick. The one case incentive. Yeah. Nice. Is it the one where you can like um, you can like spin the knobs? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> it's it's the one where you can spin the knobs. Ah, oh, that one. Dude, there's I, a, there's I, I know what he means, but I don't know which one is which. There's like a new I stream deck. I don't know. There's like a new stream deck. It has like a 
touchscreen and knobs to fucking. Yeah, I just not the knob one. No, that's the XL, I think. Fuck! I really wanted the knobs. Yeah, it's the one with like the custom face plates and stuff. I think you have to watch the intermission to find out. Yeah, you gotta stay for the intermission. But first of all, you gotta donate some money so we get 2k. Soon. What do you mean? I don't have to fucking time. Go outside now. For me? Quick, hurry. Dude, I'm smoking right now, okay? <laughs> you can smoke on the way? You heard about this? You know multitasking, you were just talking about it? No, he can't, because on the German streets, he has a 99% chance of death if he leaves his house. And with the cigarette, it's 100%, yeah, I know. Exactly, yeah. Type exclamation mark giveaway in the chat to join the giveaway immediately. An exclamation mark gullible to win. Yeah. That's to get the double entry. Yeah. Do you have it open? By what open? The giveaway. Uh, <laughs> you really do need that red button. How do you tie your shoes in the morning? Like, serious question. Mate, everyone is typing it! To a creek. Like, how are you employed by any <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't do very serious checks on these people, the delivery drivers, man. my own fucking stream deck. Everyone type exclamation mark stream deck. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost this lot, boy. Holy shit. But he's always <laughs> like history. Then I heard about grown men who like to play with toy soldiers. War is so interesting. With commemorative miniatures, I began by faithfully rebuilding the charge of life. And after. <laughs> Of 1999. Thanks for getting close to the end of the run. You know, God bless. Show your inability to deal with present day problems by recreating Watch scenes of mind. mass slaughter from the past. Reenacting battles is great for your marriage, too. One night, my husband's jacket. Fuck, I think I shouldn't do this shit. Holy fuck. I've been taking these fucking vitamin. I don't know what they are, but they are some pills. I'm just fucking taking them. And it's they just vitamin just supplements? I think, wait, let me get the fucking packaging. But I'm, I think. I'm taking too much of them. How many are you taking? <laughs> I'm taking like two after I wake up, but I think as Have a... you tried reading how many they recommend? Nah, that's why I'm getting the fucking package. <laughs> One second. That's how I always do with pills. I always just take just the amount I feel like, and then if, if I start to feel bad, I'll check how many I actually need to take. <laughs> <laughs> This guy actually just stole his mum's Ventrum Women 50 plus video. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's um, like, yep. vitamin B12, high doses. It's, it's only B12, high dosage, and he's taking two. Go. <laughs> I mean, it says it gives me energy, so why am I not taking two? Yeah, I want more energy, right? The more, the more. More pills, the more energy, I think. In fact, oh. let, me, let me take another one. Doesn't seem like they work, to be honest. The amount of energy you have, like... If you take, like, a full bottle of Adderall, you can stay up for, like, a week straight. You know? Like, it works. Yeah. It's like, it's like you're so efficient because you don't waste Wait, time sleeping. Is, is it like you go on fucking, like, on crack? No, no, crack is dangerous. No, no, no. But this Adderall, is safe. It's like it depends. Crack people. is actually not that dangerous. It's just like <laughs> it, 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 it's not the free base that it once was. <laughs> like How did we get here? With, it's like baking powder and shit. Like shit is awful. But like if you get pure like pure crack cocaine, shit like that shit <laughs> that isn't even that unhealthy. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty good for you. Just like the cigarettes you smoke with like the healthy healthy filter on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty good. They help clean your lungs and stuff. Crack helps with the lungs and all that stuff. Welcome. I mean, it's... Welcome! Ha Yo. Hasn't heroin been given to, like, people with back pain? I think that's why, like... 
It's like the, the, that's where, sh where people often get addicted. They get uh, like um. Pretty sure it's not heroin. You want a half back then? Yo, can I get some heroin on the, on the house? Like, what the yeah. Let's go to the doctor, ask for heroin like immediately. A thing where people like fake injuries or like give themselves real injuries, so then they'll yeah, get like, so morphine they, and yeah, 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 but, yeah, but yeah, morphine. Yeah, yeah but, morphine goes hard, morphine. right? Morphine, yeah. is morphine also a fucking base for heroin? Am I fucking bugging? I don't know what morphine know. is, but it's like some crazy shit anyways, like... Uh, yeah, but you get it for pain, it's like... Yeah, it's like mega painkiller though, like... And it's addictive as well. Opiates, yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> someone said in the chat, it's like... You're doing all this like smoking, taking crack, doing like opioids and shit. Yes, but it's the bicycle on the freeway that <laughs> is making your life at risk. <laughs> Dude, speaking of bicycle on the freeway, that shit that I did, that was fucking dumb. Like, I remember that wasn't on my job, but like, I used to just go on like, I just enjoyed biking like in the city a lot. And like, there are some streets here that like, you, you just one second you turn off your brain and you're on the fucking highway. And I was like on my fucking bike. And I fucking realized after five minutes of like, wait, why is there like, no, why is there like no way for, for my bike? But where's my bike lane, right? So I look over and it's like I'm on the highway and I can't fucking go the other direction because like there's no, 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 no road even. So I don't know what to do. So I was completely fast. And I had to back off the whole thing really fucking slow. Like, I, Loki, that shit was scary. And I was reversing on the highway on the, on the bike. I, it, it had no security on the side. Like usually, there are like fences, right? When you are on a normal street, like and it's like over a bridge. Or... But yeah, there are guardrails. No, no, but there, there, the, the security. I could look over. If I go a bit to the left, I would fall into the fucking like abyss. So, you know, what you were saying before about how the fact that your job is 99% chance of death. Is yeah. that because you just randomly decide to bike on the motorway instead of you know? Dude, the place it happened like <laughs> once, and it never happened on the job because in, on the job I'm in the middle of the city which has other fucking risks to it yeah. just happened like in my I think, region I think yeah. I found your problem Tell me you motherfucking piece of shit I ain't letting you get away with all you've done sweet no that's my problem what are the other risks in the center of the town is it when you find yourself spelunking on the metro tracks <laughs> dude <laughs> Man, you know that feeling when you're just in the metro station, you turn off your brain for five minutes, and then all of a sudden you're just walking on the metro tracks. I hate when it happens, man. Yeah. Honestly. No, I take a bunch on... of pills that I don't know where they are, close my eyes for five seconds, and I'm in the middle of the ocean. Like, how does that <laughs> the happen? The worst. No, this my is real. It's so dangerous. This is real. So, in the middle of the city here, dude, I don't know if you if you know fucking well it works, Nate, but like, there's like a big river. Right, <laughs> and on this river, it's like goes through the middle of the city and through my fucking area. And basically, um, to get to the other side, I need to take like some underground passage. It's not really underground; it's just like on next to the river as well. And they they don't have it safe there. On the on the railing to the river isn't safe. So when I drive there and I need to go down next to the river in the winter, it's really fucking like it's really like hard to to break. And I'm almost always falling into a fucking <laughs> river with everything in my bag, with every fucking drink and food that you can imagine. It's so much weight that I need to sometimes fucking jump almost off the bike to fucking break. Shit is fucking dangerous there. I'm almost like falling into the river. <laughs> you know when we were talking about like doing like a uh, road trip in the US, the this guy thought country. I would let him drive. <laughs> It's like, all right, you rent the car, you drive most of the time, and then when you get tired, I'll drive. Like, yes, <laughs> yeah, you're not going anywhere nah. near the fucking driving. Dude, if I if I get my license, what is? It? Why wouldn't you let me drive? No, no, no. Makes no sense. Honestly, two you're seconds ago, I car, almost fall in the, the river truck. when I drive you're my bike. In the back of the car. <laughs> yeah, this guy Dude. should be thrown in the trunk. Honestly. Excuse me, dude, why would we waste time if on a road trip we can just think like, you go one half then I do. Then you sleep and I have a crucial drive without a dropping license. <laughs> 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 
Why won't you let me drive? Says man who has just openly admitted that at any time he can put you either in a body of water or in on the wrong way of a highway. Yeah. I'm just telling you the conditions. I, I'm telling you the conditions of the fucking job that is so. A guy that tells you he just turns scary. up his brains for five minutes randomly while he's driving on the road. Like. <laughs> Dude, it's uh, these are factors like in my job that are fucking scary. If I'm on a road, dude, I don't know how I feel, but I probably feel safer because I'm in a fucking car. <laughs> well, as long as you feel safe, who cares about everyone else that's the victim of your fucking yeah. driving? Dude, that if is. I have a driver's license, there's nothing that can happen, really. Because <laughs> I. I <laughs> Yeah, nothing that can happen. Yeah. It's not like, you know, millions of car accidents happen every single year. The timing ends after credits, by the way. How about we just get a Tesla? Ah, that fixes the problems. You, you mean those self-driving cars where if you look them up on Google, all there is is reports of them killing people? Yes, and that's good. You know what's good? Because, <laughs> no, no, stop, hear me out here. It's good because, like, with every death that happens, the AI will never make that mistake again. So... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> do you think... Actually, do you think that a fucking AI doesn't learn once it makes mistakes? That's what the AI fucking does every time! <laughs> I can't... <laughs> no, but... Wait, how's that crazy to you? I don't get this. Oh, man. I fucking <laughs> Once every fucking scenario has been through of a fucking, like, traffic incident, <laughs> Once it's killed be everyone, it'll dying, be fine. If... <laughs> so, God in damn. ten years, like, in ten years, uh, if everyone is doing self-driving cars, there will be no more accidents. Because, like, we have learned out of every accident that happened in that time. It's just <laughs> learning. Just <laughs> quite it's simple, really. I can't I can't <laughs> Oh, beautiful. I, just, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, I just genuinely <laughs> have no words. It is, it, is, it is not common that I am left speechless by some. <laughs> and just took a small nap for a couple of hours. I wake up and it doesn't even take two minutes until <laughs> I hear this guy being on it again. <laughs> I took also an hour. It was pretty good, but I need to fucking Red Bull and I need to fucking kebab. Oh, oh my god. But you don't want to miss the giveaway, of course. Right. Look out, CJ! Fuck! Oh, man. For those of you thinking he's putting it on for, you know, for the stream, he's like this. Definitely all the time. not. There's no all way. The time. Every night. How is that crazy? To you? Of Legends, I don't even... It's like every night. You be careful for the stream. Yeah, I mean, it took us like a week. To teach him what time zones are. Uh, just no, time bit. zones are just fucking stupid. I mean, no, that's not. That's not right. No, 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 no. Oh, no. oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I fucked up. That. Oh, sorry. Uh, that. No. Yeah, auntie's like, it's right. yeah, guys, it, it's really late. Oh, I'm gonna go to sleep. And this guy's like, it's 4 p.m., guys. <laughs> Why are you going to sleep at 4 p.m.? <laughs> this is it. Still happens actually. <laughs> so dumb. Why would you go to sleep at 4 p.m.? Yeah, mate, it's, it's mate, 4 a.m. by him. Dog shit, and my fucking brain recognizes <laughs> dog shit and doesn't fucking comprehend it because it's fucking useless. And that's why it sometimes it fucking happens, obviously. Shit, I only, I only fucking learned the shit that I that is actually fucking functional, and the shit is not functional. The shit is just confusing. GG any percent. Oh my god, GG any percent. Oh. No, there's still credits, guys. Guys. Credits, guys. Game isn't over yet, guys. Oh yeah, and we need to do the research whether oysters survive for the girlfriends. Yeah, I don't know if we have time for that research because you know. I'm already I'm already barely hitting estimate here, actually. I'm pretty proud of myself. Right dead on estimate. What is it gonna be?
pretty. I'm actually gonna get some good. water. I haven't had a drink in like good 12 hours time, so be right back. This is gonna be the first finish run of the of the year. And ironically. Yeah. Jacob, how many people yep. would it take for the for these cars to be able to like in in, in your eyes, how many would it take um, before it, they become? It should perfect? take like, less, many, less people, people than we think like, actually. Less people than we think actually, because um AI actually like learns really fucking fast. So Are I, we talking I, like I, hundreds, thousands? Of accidents? I think that like five to ten years and there should be like 100 percent safety and maybe like we are already at like it's going to get obviously there's going to be like a really really small chance something happens but we the AI is going to try to minimize that chance right so i think like maybe in the next five years we'll be at like 90 percent like safety of the fucking ai and then maybe in 10 years we'll be at like 97 or something like yeah yeah when do we get to the point where like ai is safer than human drivers though but so I mean, this is what I'm saying. So I, close, I'm not really thinking about that. time because that doesn't really matter. I'm thinking about like how many accidents have to occur because that's like the real thing. Because right? accidents already occur with human drivers as well, by the way. It's not like humans just fucking never create accidents, right? Yeah, Let's exactly, be real. exactly. Yeah, it's just nitpicking. Like, fuck off, dude. <laughs> no, oh I'm my not, god, the AI, the AI had a fucking accident. Let's compare though how many times the AI had an accident to how many times fucking normal human retards on the street have accidents. <laughs> Like, yes, the AI killed some people, maybe, but at the point where they kill less people, why would you fucking, like, still All that I'm cry? asking is a perf perfectly innocent question of how many yeah. people you need to slaughter before the AI is 100%. That's impossible That's to answer, asking. though. <laughs> Me watching a Tesla mowing down a family of five with, like, a huge smile on my face, knowing it's for a good reason. Yeah. Like I mean, me. the family of five will not fucking be killed again. <laughs> like <laughs> that, that is true. That is, I I can't dispute that one. I'm afraid. Like you got me. See, and uh. that's like basically the whole point. Like on like one example, it, it can't ever be a hundred percent reliable. No, I'm exactly. Stuck, like, that's humans true, humans yeah. aren't hundred percent reliable either. So it's not like we have. To, it's not that's the standard. We just need to be more reliable than humans, right? And then we can start giving up on human drivers. Eventually, it's going to become illegal to drive cars. Surely. Wonder how this guy would do on the trolley problem. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like trolley problem is pretty simple, like to me though, right? But but I can imagine Jacob looking at it and just picking like a third option where it's like <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I still think in yeah, the trolley problem, both, both options are viable. Both options are viable in the trolley problem. I think I don't think there's only one answer there. Oh dear. What's I mean, the trolley problem? There's no times. way you don't know the trolley problem. It's the one where the train is like, it's out of yeah, control. Like... You have, you can, you can change the track it's gonna go on. One track has five people that are all gonna die, but if you change it, only one person's gonna die. That's the, that's the essential system. Yeah, it's like, do you, do you cho choose to kill a minority or let the majority die? Yes, exactly. Like without your intervention. Yeah. Don't ask this guy about minorities. <laughs> yeah, as soon as this guy hears, oh, let minorities die, is it? All right. we'll, we'll cover that. We'll cover that when we're playing some league later tonight. Don't go there, man. What if easy I don't some do estimate. anything? He's easy, easy. I mean... What kind of pussy do you have to be to not do anything? Like, G holy shit. G. Man up and fucking press the lever down. Like, GG. <laughs> the GG. Fuck? It's over, guys. GG. Dude. Just because some fucking retard is fucking chilling there? Like... That's a good essay. Uh, no, Jacob looks at the trolley problem, he's like, hmm, five or one? <laughs> or I could get the AI to test pulling the lever <laughs> over and over again, and repeatedly kill <laughs> dozens of people, until eventually the lever only kills four people. So I actually like your idea. <laughs> um, 
No, like imagine though, at some point it will find the like it's at some point it will just find the right decision to make. We are not 100% certain yet because we, we let our fucking brains judge. But once the AI is confident enough to judge, well, there's no mistake that can happen, right? It will always take the right answer. What do you reckon the right answer is for the trolley problem? So personally, I'm not an AI, but I can tell you that <laughs> um, like. I would fucking definitely pull the lever so the one person dies. I respect it. Fuck. Shit, I'll feel good about it. Yeah, I respect it. On that note, any final words, boys? Final words, thank you so much for hosting this beautiful uh, marathon, as always. Sure, I was, I Thanks was everyone for donating to charity. No problem, no. I hope you enjoyed this lovely run, of course. And make sure to donate more money, because there's still one more run to go. That's it for me. And thanks to all the lovely commentators. Okay, that's all for me. Yeah. Yo, when is the giveaway starting? Wrap this up. <laughs> there you come. Shut up. I need to eat. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> thanks all everyone right, for well, uh, you know, Yeah, yeah. Thank, thanks to everyone who supported so far. Um, if you're interested in Jesus a stream deck Christ. mark two, uh, we'll be doing a giveaway <laughs> in this next intermission. <laughs> Shut up, man. Come on. Shut the fuck up, man. All right, <laughs> just kicked you out of the channel. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll we'll go to intermission. Stream Deck Mark Two giveaway coming up soon. The, the the marathon is not over yet. We've still got one more run. We've got Guy with coming in for GTA Three any percent. So do not go anywhere. Otherwise, I'll 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 come and get you. I will fucking come and get you. Uh, so it wasn't High Kane's fault. You can't come off. One of these seven-year minutes in your own mind. So take heed and proceed with caution when you run.